Welcome back to the Sweet Talks podcast. Today, you have seen this guy recently in Texas. We've seen him at Nectar. He owns part of Nectar, and he has his own podcast. Welcome, Wu Talk. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for Woo. having me. Welcome, welcome. Very honored to be here. Yeah. So, you were just telling us that Texas went crazy. I, I mean, we all seen that shit. Uh-huh. How did that shit feel? Bro, I mean, it's definitely the most famous I've ever felt in my life. Uh, it's hella <laughs> surreal, honestly. It's like you don't realize, like you look at numbers on a screen, you look at the analytics on YouTube, and it's very easy to be like, oh, they're doing better. I'm not here yet. Yeah. But when you see like hordes of people like out there to support you because they f- with you and it's like, and especially something like directly supporting your business, like buying nectar for us and coming to the club when we invite them, it was just different that shit energy. Was humbling like at the same it was humbling while at the same time ego inflating i don't know how to <laughs> yeah i don't know it's how like to explain everybody it, yeah. else like it's like a <laughs> and you said you were signing and oh yeah hella being signed that was that's what made me feel like one i was signing a lot of autographs that weekend and pre prior to actually i think the first autographs i ever signed was at suburb talks night uh-huh but prior to that i had never signed an autograph like people would ask for pictures and stuff in the street but never signing nothing but at the meet and greets at the drop, like it's like, can you sign my box? Like that type of shit. And I yeah. was just what like, what kind of box? The <laughs> nectar box. The nectar box, man. <laughs> it's not a dick in the box. Like, yeah. Or it could have been the fucking this box. <laughs> what I, What was your first thought when you were signing like your first signature? Like, I mean, holy shit! I, I was just like, I realized how ugly my signature was. That was the first one. Where yeah. I was like, this shit looks like a scribble. And then I was like, how do I make it look more like my name? But it was like I couldn't do it on like skin. You know, yeah, like yeah. it's hella hard to sign skin. Yeah. So, so, were you practicing while fucking signing? So I will. Like, I'll, I'm gonna like, get this shit right next time. In the in the the Dallas Instagram post I put up, I dead ass just scribbled on her. <laughs> and then the comments are like, "Bro's signature is a a, a flat line." <laughs> <laughs> and, it was, and then I was watching it back, and she was like, "Loki, like, what the fuck is that?" <laughs> and I felt bad. That's I was, yeah, funny. You couldn't even tell it was my name. So. Nah, I feel like signing is just like. It's very classic, and it feels, like, so good to sign something rather than take a picture, right? Totally agree. No, yeah, it feels good, but when I first did it, too, I was like, what the fuck am I doing? Yeah. And like, my signature. Yeah, yeah, my like, signature's kinda... dog shit. Yeah, 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 you feel like, bro, who the fuck am I? Why do you want my signature? Hella imposter syndrome. Yeah. Did you guys practice your signature after your first time? No, so I had practiced my signature when I was, like, in, like, middle school slash high school. Mm-hmm. Cause I was like, bro, like I need dope signature. Cause my parents have cool signatures, uh-huh. and I was just like, dude, like my signature. Cause before my shit would, I would just do the L and mm-hmm. then scribble. That's exactly what I do. W yeah. scribble. Yeah. yeah. So now my shit's still scribbly, but there's like meaning behind it. Mm. So it's yeah. kind of cool. Vit would sign something different every time. Oh and, my god. And you couldn't even tell what was being said. He was like drawing on it. It was like a V, and then he'd write like a little soldier man, and then like. That's kind of sick. Yeah. This that guy is a cool <laughs> signature. Really. Yeah, that's all right. It's whatever. I feel like if I looked at y'all, I would guess that he had the best signature. <laughs> I, I don't think I've seen theirs. Dude. I want to know what Frank's signature is. Mine's like, like. Uh, because I'm a junior, so mm-hmm. I put JR at the end of my shit. Uh, <laughs> this shit is messy, dog. Yeah. yeah. My shit's like, it's just an F and then <laughs> dude, like that too. Like scribble. that shit with the scribble. Yeah. Yeah. And then a JR yeah. after the scribble. <laughs> that's the cop out, man. At least you have the JR, so you yeah. have something to differentiate it. Yeah. I think yeah. Danny's F, is pretty nice too. Mine though. is just a big D and then it's a P. <laughs> a big D. <laughs> yeah. Big dick. Yeah. It just places the dick on the titties. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a print, like. <laughs> Well, he could do that. <laughs> but uh, we want to start off with just kind of like, I don't know, just kind of tell us about yourself. Maybe like a little bit of some of like your growing up and shit, where you're from. Where's okay. Wu-Tak from? Where's Wu-Tak from? So I'm Korean. I was born in Korea. Um, moved to America at four. And that was the Bay Area. And then from the Bay, I went to New Jersey, Fort Lee, Jersey, which is right outside of New York City when I was 12 or 11. I think 11. Yeah, it was Wait, 11. So, so you're from Jersey? Yeah. Is there a difference between New Jersey and Jersey? Uh, No. There's just one Jersey. We just call it Jersey. Yeah. So I wonder what the original Jersey was. So if but. you're from Jersey, uh-huh. you call it Jersey, and then people that aren't from Jersey call it New Jersey? Yeah, but I feel like when I say Jersey, has anyone been like, I'm from New Jersey to you? Mm. Nah, I was just thinking of the TV show, to be honest. <laughs> I guess so. I, Jersey like, Shore? Alejandro. Yeah. Damn, where the whole yeah. Jersey Shore? Yeah, it's not even New Jersey Shore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a... <laughs> Canadian. Just Jersey Shore. You're thinking of New Jersey Shore. Yeah, you're then where the fuck did I get New Jersey from? That sounds like a brochure ad New or something. Jersey? Yeah. Yeah. People say I that, heard right? people I'm say I'm New Jersey. Jersey. It's on the map. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's the name of the state. Yeah. I just feel like Jersey's just. Why would I add a whole extra syllable? Exactly. In there? So then why don't you call New York York? 
Because that's lame as hell, yeah, I feel like. York sounds corny. Yeah, yeah. And there is a York. It's like in, in England somewhere. It's also a candy. There's also oh, a yeah, New York yeah, in Las Vegas. Candies. New York, New York. Oh, the fucking, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Las Vegas is a funny place. You love but it there? I, I do like it there in small increments. I can't be there longer than two days. Otherwise, I start. No. No? Have you, have you or? I have. I just always lose my money. So I'm like, why would I keep, why would I keep doing this shit? That's what yeah. like a lot, a lot of gamblers like think at first. And then just when you keep losing and then one day you hit that one big one. That's why I won't. Quit. I don't even want to hit the big one because then I'll <laughs> probably want to gamble more. <laughs> and I, I am not good with shit. That's like luck and random. I just stay the fuck away from that shit. Yeah. Yeah. So what, what were you saying? You fucking, you grew up in Jersey. Yeah, I grew up in Jersey. I went to college in New York. And then uh, I think I, I moved to L.A. almost exactly a year ago. Mm -hmm. So it's like my one year anniversary. And ever since you moved here, have you just felt like you've just been nonstop working or have you taken it easy on yourself? Um, Definitely. I think I've been nonstop working since like 2020. Damn, like, really? Yeah, because nice. it's just because like why? What? Not nonstop. Like I don't ever do anything else. Like obviously <laughs> we hang out, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. and I'll like, you know, go on these random benders every so often where it's like four days of just straight yeah. debauchery. No one can contact me. No one's on my slack, like that type of shit. But then when I get back home, it's back to business. No more. I'm not taking no calls. I don't care whose birthday it is. I'm not going. And then it's like, yeah. <laughs> and ice baths. Yeah. Ice baths, breathing exercises. Yeah. I mean, I'm also getting up there, so I'm, like, doing everything I can to, like, maintain health and youth while I still live this lifestyle, so. And, and weren't you a bartender, too, at yeah. one point? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, uh, that was my whole trade back in the day. So that's how you got started, right? <laughs> yeah. So tell us about that. Were you a bartender at a big spot, like, club or a bar, or? So, uh, in, uh, I've bartended in, like, New York and also Jersey. Mm -hmm. So the part of Jersey I'm from, because it borders New York, uh -huh. one, it's very rich. Like, there's a lot of all the New York money, like, kind of nice. lives outside of the city, right? So that's where they all live, usually. Um, and, the, like, the way the nightlife worked there was, like, fancy-ass restaurants that turned into, like, loungy clubs at night. Mm -hmm. So worked in a few of those. You, I actually made more money in Jersey because of that reason, because... Everyone there had bread. As opposed to New York, there's a lot of tourists. Yeah. And tour there's just no tipping culture outside of America. So you would get you'd get fucked a lot. But yeah. wait, there's no tipping culture yeah, outside of America? Yeah. yeah, people don't really tip like that. Yeah. Maybe Canada. I'm not sure about Canada, but like Europe, Asia, like no one's tipping. It's actually well, like I'm disrespectful sure to leave a tip in Japan. Wait, what, why it's the fuck is it disrespectful? Because like well one, like there there is no need for tip because their wages reflect like they get paid a livable wage. Like mm. tipped workers in America get paid less because of tipping culture. Oh wow. shit. I yeah. Didn't know like that. like uh when I was a server, this was a few years ago, so the minimum wage is higher now. But in mm. Jersey, the minimum wage was two dollars an hour. Yeah. But I, but it averaged out what I made was averaged out to like twenty five dollars an hour Just because from tips? of tips. Yeah. What the fuck? So I actually That's prefer stuck. tipping. Trust me, I like the tipping yeah. way better because like as a bartender, dude, I would work in New York City maybe two days a week, two three days a week. My paychecks were like a thousand fifteen hundred dollars every week post tax, post New York tax. Oh, so you wouldn't get like the tips cash? Not in yeah, not in the nicer places. They because they like split the tips yeah because if you're making millions if you're a business making millions of dollars like the irs will come for you if you're not mm -hmm. tracking all the tips and shit so they take all the tips and you just get a paycheck with your tips on it damn that's just from two to three days of working dude yeah but that was after i had become a very good bartender you know what i'm saying so that right. was like a very upscale. That was a fine dining restaurant. And I did nothing because it was a restaurant. People came so to eat. So it's just like super chill. Just yeah, I'm just standing there wiping. But I don't like that. I like chaos. I like to fucking work holla hard. You talk like to girls. Yeah, people yeah. getting <laughs> drunk, you know, being like fun, you know. Yeah. That's what, what I like bartending why for. Why though? How come you like that more? It's just time goes by faster. Imagine Bigger you go to work that. and you oh, got to just yeah. stand for yeah, eight I hours. I feel that too. I feel that yeah. too. Wait, so what makes you like a good bartender? Like. Um, I think I liked it. So like me liking to do it is number one because so many bartenders you meet like you're an asshole. Like you don't want to fucking be here and you're taking it like, out here's on your me. Drink and yeah, and it's just like you're trying to give being them an snippy order. with you when you like do like miss certain bar etiquettes. Like bartenders will do that. They have this like ego where they're like, huh, you didn't like order your drinks all at once, dude. Like oh, like you know what I mean? They'll like kind of shame you for not knowing what to do sometimes. Very fucking annoying. And then um, but yeah, so I liked it. So I was always like happy at work. I'm very personable. Like, yeah. I like to just fuck around with people. Um, and, like, I was, like, really good with the making drinks part. Like, the literally, like, technically, like, bartending and, like, yeah. coming yeah. up with recipes. Would you shit. practice at home or just uh, doing it? 
like to get the job i watched like a three youtube videos at home and then i showed up i was like look i could do that shit and and yeah it worked but no yeah. fucking way that's the only way they would let me they were like prove you can do it because it was at, like i was a server first so he was like if you can prove to me you can actually bartend like i'll let you bartend and then that was after two years of working there so that's sick Damn, that's sick i hate the fucking bartenders when you're like telling them your order and shit and they just like they're standing far as fuck away like wiping a glass or something and just looking at you like yeah and it's like, bro, like, are you going to realize my order or not? Yeah. And it's like, but it's a customer service job. So it's like, yeah, why are you being? And then bartenders more than any other customer service job, I think, tend to be assholes. I feel like they make me feel like I'm the asshole. Yeah. Like you're a burden for spending money at this. No, no, oh, bro, I'm tipping you, man. Because I remember yeah. when I bought a drink and uh -huh. they gave me two. And I was like, nah, I asked for one. And he was like, oh my God, bro. <laughs> yeah, and well, I was like, and then do? I, no, no. And then I was like, you know what? I got you, bro. Here. Uh -huh. I tipped him like fat. I gave uh -huh. him like a fucking 15. And he was like, all right, all right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I was like, fuck. You but that's what I mean is like, look at the asshole, right? Yeah. Like, th like you are a kind enough person to, to like, that's his mistake. You no. Know? And it's like, you were, you, you took care of him anyway. So yeah. I always have that mentality. It's just, everything's my mistake. Why would I ever yeah. put anything on the customer? Yeah. If I gave you two drinks and you were like, oh, I only ordered one. I'll be like, oh, my fault. Just have this shit. I'm going to charge it, you for it one. It doesn't fucking it, affect like, you What either. the fuck just does that affect it? me at Ooh. all? Yeah, I'll just fucking hand it to him. <laughs> oh, and then shit. they would be like, holy shit. I'm coming to you for my next drink yeah. and I'm tipping you it's, fat. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like that's just how that shit works. And that's why I would make hella bread because people would be like, that's the guy to go to. Yeah. Only go to him. Like they would do shit where like they tip on the bill. Uh -huh. Especially at these like nicer like lounge places, like their bills like five hundred dollars, right? And not even bottle service, just five hundred dollars of drinks. <laughs> Tipping a hundred dollars on there, and then he's like, "Here's a hundred dollars cash. You put this in your pocket. I want to see you put it put it in your pocket right now, because I want you to take this money. This is for y'all to split. Yep. Take this extra hundred, because I fuck with you. you and those it? people, yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> and then those people, it's like, bro, I would try to charge them as little as possible every time they came. I was low key robbing the place I worked at. You that, have to. Hell no, you have to. Looking yeah. out for you the people. Yeah, you that's that's the funny thing about tipping culture. Like a the bat, it's a fucking battle of like the owner of the restaurant versus <laughs> the bartender. It's like how much drinks can you give away before they notice. <laughs> have you ever gotten caught? Like, you got it. Uh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> it's like, like not too hard to get caught. Well, how did they confront you about it? It's like, like hey, oh. stop giving away drinks. And I was like, oh yeah, my bad. Would you ever give drinks away to like a girl just because she was cute? Oh, all the time. All the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you all have to. But I wouldn't only because they're cute. There has to be some type of like they show interest in me, and then oh, it's like immediately. Yeah, yeah. You know and what? it's so funny. It's like one crumb of attention. It's like here. Here you go. You want more? <laughs> did, and did it like ever work? Did it ever like? Um, I mean, it's like numbers and stuff. I've never actually like hooked up with like a random customer ever. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, but you got you had good conversations like on text messages with them though later. Yeah, no? nah. Most of the time you don't. Do you even hit them up after? Rarely ever. I would say that the the reason why most bartenders are thoughts is because all the coworkers are sleeping with each other. Yeah. yeah. So that's wow. what it was, bro. I mean, every restaurant I worked at, it was like. Bro, it was like fucking college wow. all over again, bro. Everyone's just running through everyone? Not everyone is running through everyone, but like, yeah, there is like, I, I would say most of the girls are down with like maybe like three or four guys running through everyone. That's what? actually crazy. Wow. That's actually crazy. It was, and it was like, that's why people get addicted to fucking being in the restaurant industry. It's like a fake rock star lifestyle while Dude. you're just a bartender low key. <laughs> Wait, so like, that's crazy as I'm well. not going to lie because a lot of people just start flirting like in the restaurant or like, you Bro, know. the work husband, work wife bullshit. That shit is true. That shit is true, and they're definitely fucking. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, like they're most of the time they're fucking. This is not a boy best friend scenario. This is like a why would you pick this person of all people to be your husband? Y'all are flirting at work. I'm not even gonna lie. I was a host at uh at a restaurant for like two or three months, and the dishwasher was getting some from one of the waitresses. I swear to God. God. I hey, swear to God. props to my boy because the dishwashers usually get nothing. No, but he, <laughs> was, he was. He was. He was like some little Mexican food, and I was like, oh, yeah, okay. It's Bro, good work. for him, man. Yeah. That man had Riz because you got defeating the 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 hierarchy of positions is tough. Like. Is. Being a bus boy trying to pipe a bartender, you know what I'm saying? Like that's like you're you're, <laughs> yeah. you're trying to date up. <laughs> yeah. But like that's why being a bartender, like socially, like the restaurants have this hierarchy, dude. Like it's like if you're a cool bartender and all the people like you, like you people one, you make the most money in tips. And yeah. then on top of that, like you have access to the bar, like all this shit. Like it doesn't ever get like annoying just dealing with drunk people. Of course, when they're too drunk. But like that's why I never I would never work at like a club club because that's just very annoying. Have you yeah. ever um cut off somebody and they got super pissed off at yep, you yep, like i want to fight you type a shit? few times a few times have, have they you, ever yeah. tried have they ever tried fighting you like what do you do they, they're like threatened me like yo i'm away for you outside and i'm just like yo security 
take his ass out. Like, I'm, like that's not my job. We got these big ass motherfuckers <laughs> everywhere for a reason, man. Yeah, for real. Talk to him. How do you know when to cut somebody off? Uh, when it's like, I mean, you know, when somebody's so drunk that like you should not have any more drinks. What if they're yeah. like, I'll tip you fat? No, because like most likely you won't. You're so drunk, you're gonna forget. I also have a very late limit for when to cut people off like i'm like you're a grown-ass man if yeah, you, you black cut out, yourself off yeah like yeah. but like you have to be like bothering other people for me to cut you off mm. you know like fucking you know those dudes that get drunk they talk trying to touch everyone talk yeah. to everyone what about like um like don't they say those drinks were like if like there's like a a girl and there's like a guy that's kind of like acting like a little bit like sus or like weird and they order like an angel drink or some shit like that oh the is angel that, shot is that true or uh, I think it's it is true, but it's like one of those like unsaid things, and I didn't know about it the entire time I bartended. He's like, Yo, what, what's the angel? Shot? Yeah, I'm like, Yo, I'll, let me go Google that shit real quick because like I don't know how to make that. Yeah. I don't know how to make. Things. Like, but then, yeah, like, but then I would come back and be like, grab his ass. Like, I need a YouTube video right oh, now. Shit goes to the back. Let me ask the back. Yeah. And then I come back and she's gone. She's They're gone. both gone. And I'm like, no, I fuck, oh, I'm running into the street. Like, where are you? Fuck. Oh, but that's why I it's like it's not a thing like somebody had to have made that up and it's not like every bartender is taught like this is yeah. the code. Oh, and some nice. establishments do teach their bartenders and I think it's a good practice. I think it's also fairly new too. Uh yeah, it's fairly new. I've heard about it before I was even on TikTok and then TikTok kind of like blew it up yeah. again. And I think that's good. I think that is a good thing to have in place, but so yeah. if you don't know how to make a drink, will you Google it? Oh, hell yeah, all the time. Yeah? Yeah, when I first started. On the spot? Yeah, I'll, literally, I'll be like, I don't know how to make that, but I'll Google it for you and like, and then see if we have the ingredients even, you know? Damn, People sick. don't care. You got to be authentic. Imagine yeah. I left the bar and just went and hid in the kitchen and then I came back and started making, like, he would kind of know. He'd be like, you don't yeah. know how to make that shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's like, it's also just recipes. So I'd rather, if I ordered a drink and the bartender was like, I don't know it, I would rather him look it up on the spot in front of me try to get to know it yeah get and it, like get it that's right. service right yeah, yeah, that's yeah. versus like yo we don't got that it's like one he doesn't know i know that i can look at your bottles and see you do got that but it's like you know then it's just customer service being honest to somebody so yeah so just from like you could tell like a good bartender from a bad one just by fucking seeing how they serve people oh absolutely i mean i feel like i can tell because i've just been in the industry a while but y'all can tell too like does a bartender get to you quickly is he friendly you know uh -huh. what i'm saying does he make you want to tip him more just because of who he is like mm -hmm. you know you've yeah, had those sure. bartenders where they're hella cool and you're Man, like and i've had this some, guy deserves money like i've yeah. had some yeah. hell yeah badass female bartenders where i'm just I and they, they don't do nothing and yeah. you're just like take all, my money. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> take all my money <laughs> That's my weakness, man. When there's a hot bartender and she's friendly, like she knows she's hot oh and yeah. She, yeah, yeah. she flirts with you a little exactly. bit. I'm like, fuck, man, I'm going to spend a lot of money. Here <laughs> how, how can you like get at a, a hot bartender? Wait, wait, I got, I got a question before okay, we go. start going down that lane. Like, <laughs> I, I know like in the restaurant business, like if there's uh -huh. an asshole customer, sometimes like um, the waitress will like fuck with their food and shit like that. Have you heard of stuff like yeah, that? Yeah, 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 yeah. In bartending, like, let's just say there's an asshole customer. Is there such thing as, like, I'm going to put less alcohol in their shit? I've never, I've never done that. I know bartenders that do that, for sure. Wow. That is fucked up. Imagine. Yeah. Hey, it's the, not. The I don't think it's fucked up. I don't think it's fucked up. If the, yeah, customer's it's an, up. if the customer is an asshole, then yeah, fuck it. It's, Depends it's on right. what level of asshole. But also, yeah. I still think you're working a job. They paid for something, you know? Maybe if they're, if they're stiffing me, even if they were stiffing me on tip, I've tried to keep it professional and just give them what they're paying for but you're definitely if it's a busy bar i am not even looking at you the whole time i'm gonna ignore you until like i literally have nothing to do yeah so uh oh damn but fuck what are you saying about the it's hard to like fuck with people's drinks though when you are like the bar is kind of like a stage like everyone's just staring mm -hmm. at you you know yeah that's true yeah so like, they don't notice that like hey what yeah. the fuck and you, you never know who like <laughs> a lot of people have bartended before so you everyone can just count the pour right and then you know exactly how much liquor went in there so imagine i was like cutting your pores in half and or like let's say i was an asshole yeah. i never i never would be but let's say i was <laughs> and then the dude decides to cut my pores in half and i'm watching him i'm like bro i just watched you pour me half of what i'm paying for like go get your fucking manager <laughs> like yeah you know? see i wouldn't even know I, sometimes yeah. i just taste my shit i'm like damn there's nothing yeah, yeah there's yeah. no alcohol that's like it. Vegas. it was either that or yeah. i was super fucked up <laughs> <laughs> no the danger shit is if you go to vegas and you gamble oh, oh, oh no. yeah the Gosh. free drinks yeah. I love they'll that. come back with one 
like you're, you're straight that's a, that's like nothing in it but then the second one they'll pull like boom you yeah. go damn they put something yeah in. they threw some shit in here to keep me gambling here oh, so you look at the table you lost yeah and you're pulling out more yeah. isn't there some bartenders where they'll just kind of like they'll just put a fuck ton of alcohol they don't really give a fuck yeah of course those, i mean those it, are my favorite ones yeah <laughs> i don't fuck with those anymore honestly i want my drink to just be balanced like yeah. i don't want to have to sip a drink and be like this is straight liquor like you want to chill well you like tequila and uh club soda it? club soda yeah. i, I look you want to try that that shit is nice i heard cl- i never that. tried that i heard that nah. shit, that was bomb that's what i had on well, no, years. i, I want to try drinking it for a, like a night like that's all i drink it's the best thing to drink like yeah. it's like one is hydrating carbonation also gets you drunker faster and then Ooh. also it's the lowest calories that you can get while tequila is still a better liquor than vodka so like it is the most optimal drink that's for, bartend- for a night out. bartender talk right there yeah, that's yeah. bar chemistry that's <laughs> bar chemistry right there <laughs> fucking um also what i was gonna ask was if you have like a hot bartender yeah what's like the best way to like get at her or is there like just no chance at no, all no there's definitely there's a formula to this shit so, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> there's a, formula. There is a secret recipe i'm about to drop it right now <laughs> yeah, drop that shit so i, I got an independent notebook so when you one like hop one it can't be busy it's very hard to flirt with somebody that's busy you're just gonna piss them off so <laughs> ideally it's like a, a medium busy or less bar right mm-hmm. you see she's hot you go up you order you make you other than your order you want to at least drop one version of conversation right just one back and forth that's all you want just some mm-hmm. interaction see how she responds then when you, you close out the first time you have to close it out tip fat there is no way there's no way you're going to be cheap with the tip right now or even regular with the tip right now and stand out in her mind, right? So I'm tipping whatever the bill is. That's what I'm tipping, right? And then and it also depends how bad she is, how bad I, I, I actually yeah. want to flirt with her. Yeah. But like you have to like stand out as a generous person in her mind. Out of I promise you next time you come back for a drink, she is going to be way fucking nicer. She's going to be interested regardless of it's not really the money, but it's more like like it's just a bartender thing right i'm gonna mm-hmm. genuinely be nicer to people who are taking care of me it's like that was so selfless that was, you didn't have to tip that much and that's when you you know begin conversation with her that's when you can flirt and if there's flirting back that's when you're like yo let me get your instagram whatever right blah 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 and then you gotta just take it to the dms afterwards oh, yeah. wow that's on so a non-busy day yeah and it's like a very it's very difficult to get even if you tipped fat she's gonna be like thank you so much back to work you know yeah, like yeah. it's how can she spend all that time yeah. talking with you What's considered like a fat tip? Like, let's say it's a fifteen dollar drink. Uh, I think you tip the same as like with like a restaurant bill, right? So, so like twenty percent. Twenty percent is good. Fifteen percent for me, like because I worked in the industry, twenty percent is just what I always tip, regardless of it, service has to be fucking terrible. Like I have to hate you to tip fifteen. Yeah. And then like if you were hooking me up with drinks or like there's some reason, extra reason for me to like tip you more, like got free shit. Usually it's free shit. Then it's like I'll just fucking bump that up to whatever. Yeah, depends how drunk I you am. You could buy them a shot and shit too. Right? Depends on the bar. Yeah. Yeah. I'd rather just give them money. I know what it's like to be a bartender. I can drink those shots for free, so it's like yeah, the money is way yeah. more. Is oh, way you got me fucked yeah. right there. Damn. Now I'm gonna start. Fuck. Yeah. yeah if I was a bartender, I'd be pouring myself. Yeah. Shots Have you ever me. been drunk on the job? Oh hell yeah, man. Yeah. It's, no. Yeah. It's like, and it's like you're, you're not even allowed everywhere. to be. <laughs> Like, that is so bad, man. So you have to play it off. <laughs> it's so fun. Imagine you see your it's bartender like, I never like get this. drunk, drunk, but like I'm drinking on the job sometimes, yeah. you know? Because it's like sometimes it's like I'm going to end work at one. I'm busting it to the club right after. So <laughs> it's like. You're pre-gaming I, at work. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm that getting, is my and it's, and it's hella yeah, yeah, fun, yeah. right? Because one, at a, at a, when, it, when work is fun, you work with a bunch of people you're friends with. Yeah. And also, like, you know, in the industry, you low-key hire, like, mainly attractive people, especially the girls, right? They, wow, they only so attract- bartenders. So everyone's just, hire. like, fun and young and hot. And then it's, like, we're all drinking together at work. And then it's, like, we all go to the club afterwards. It's a fun industry. Dude, that's fun. But it's easy fun. to get stuck in it. That's why I warn against, like, all that money you're making, you could fucking build a business with it. But instead, people just live this rock star life and then yeah. have, like, they're, like, 35 working at the same bar. Wow. Damn, that, that is true. Do you see, like, some, like, older heads working at the bar? Mm-hmm. Yeah. because They make I... enough money to live off it, but it's, yeah. like, I don't know if they, they wanted to be there that long. They probably played too much when they were younger. Did you yeah. start bartending, like, when you were in college or... Uh, no, I was like a bar back in college, and then it was after college, 22, when I got uh, got my first bartending job. What's a bar back? Bar back is like a busboy, but for the bar. Oh, you nice. know what a busboy is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's the bitch. It's like the fucking, yo, give me that shit right now. And it's like, yes, sir. And you go run and get it. Yeah, yeah so you went to college. Yeah, but I dropped out. I didn't finish college. Oh, you didn't finish. Were yep. you in any like fraternities? Or I wasn't a frat. I wasn't a you frat. You were? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I wanted to ask, what's your favorite like 
drink to make. Like, you know, like, I got this shit in the bag. You're going to love this shit. <laughs> oh, fuck. That's a better way to phrase that question. Because, like, favorite drink to make, it's like... I'd say that I really like making for people Cosmopolitans and Old Fashions because really? most of the time they're like, this is the best one I've ever had. And I'm wow. Like, yeah. I've but never, it's like, so, <laughs> so whatever I make you. Yeah, yeah. Is I've a never, Cosmo like a martini type shit? Or it's in a martini glass. Yeah, it's that right. pink drink. It's right, right. very girly I've never looking. I've had that one It's before. delicious. That shit, Try yeah. that wow. shit. I've it, had an Old Fashioned. That's like what? Whiskey and... Whiskey, oh, sugar, yeah. bitters. Next next time we bind that shit and then we're going to make you put you the fuck It's... That's in a fucking old fashioned? Yeah, it's just whiskey, yes. sugar, and bitters. Dude, when sugar. we got that shit at BJ's, didn't he say it was like whiskey and coke or some shit like that? No, 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 it was that. Oh, it was? It was, it was okay, that. I'm tripping. So do you right. believe in mixing then? What do you mean? Mixing different types of like? No, I think that that's a myth. I, it's a myth? Wow. Damn, dude. That's a myth no, as fuck. I, I, yeah, I it's, it's a, a myth, fucking man. myth, man. Really? It's some college shit where you're like binge <laughs> drinking and like, no, you got sick because you were chugging different bottles. Not because you had chugged one bottle of vodka so and then true. one bottle of tequila. It's yeah. I do believe it. I do believe yeah. it because now that I think about it, like on my birthday when I got absolutely fucking obliterated, um, I was just drinking everything like just too fast. Everything. I think that what it is is when you're in the mentality of drinking everything, you lose track of what you're drinking. Yeah. Everything has different also alcohol levels, so you're drinking shit like you might drink a tequila soda that's like eleven percent the same you were drinking like a nectar which is five percent like you know. <laughs> then how notice how I say the other? <laughs> notice that yeah. I almost did too, and then I was like, how is making a myth? <laughs> Huh? How is mixing a myth if that? No, that it's just, it has nothing to do with the different types of alcohol, and more just like you are getting drunk. Oh, like you're yeah. just you're, you're just going for it. Yeah, you're point. drinking oh, a fuck okay. ton. You're yeah, you're just drinking up. a lot. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. yeah and yeah. then there's other factors like how much did you eat? How hydrated are you? Right. So if you're drinking a bunch of shit that's not, that's why I stick with tequila sodas all night because it'll hydrate mm. me. But it's like if you're then you'll switch to like a cocktail with hella sugar. Like that also fucks you up in the morning. So. Yeah, the sugar. sugar. Yeah. What's sugar the shit. what's the best drink to get like? fucked up like let's say you have twenty dollars in your bank account you're like i'm trying to guess bro i'm just ordering whatever liquor i want to drink neat like what i guess if with twenty dollars trying to get fucked up it's fucking i'm just ordering at the bar or like at home bar bar yeah fucking give me your well tequila neat and i'm just hammering that shit <laughs> what is neat neat is like basically without ice but it's a drink pour so they pour you enough for a drink but without ice so it's like a gigantic shot basically oh, holy fuck, fuck. and Man, the way that most it. bars like charge that is like a couple extra dollars on top for like a half ounce maybe an extra ounce of liquor so it's like the most cost efficient damn what about Let's for get mixed that drink? next time mixed drinks yeah uh i mean long islands and amfs the reason why people think it gets you drunker faster is because the bartender often fucks up pouring four different bottles and pours extra liquor in there hey. oh. yeah so that is a that's the only but there's hella sugar in there i don't fuck with that that's why i'm just gonna go straight alcohol i love sour midoris that's the, those are tasty. Those that's are, like that's like fucking good. Three, it's a little three, bitch drink. Yeah, that's like three percent alcohol. <laughs> You're gonna need a hundred of those to get drunk. <laughs> so good. Yeah, There's right. more calories in there than alcohol for sure. You're getting healthy, not fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> those are so fucking good. They're tasty as fuck though. Yeah. We are gonna take a quick break from this podcast, and we're gonna have a word from our sponsor here today, guys. Hello, fresh. My bad. Don't fucking interrupt. I me thought like that's that what again. you were gonna say. I was, but I was gonna kind of make it a little bit more dramatic because of how much we fuck with HelloFresh. Oh yeah, we definitely do, guys. It's fucking amazing. It's easy. Literally, you just go on the website, you pick what you want. They got all types of different diets, so they got keto, uh, pescatarian, a bunch of other words that are hard to pronounce. Yeah. And it's amazing. It's easy to make, and it's tw it's cheaper than grocery shopping, and it's twenty five percent cheaper than takeout. So fresh I, though, yeah, literally, it's, it's in it's the fresh. it's in the name. They give Hello you, a, they even give you a fucking lime, bro. Like, who doesn't have if, limes? If you need half of a garlic, if you need the skin of a garlic, they're gonna give you a piece of garlic. Yeah, they literally give you everything, and they have instructions on how to cook it, how long, how long it's going to take, step by step. It's it's literally the easiest fucking thing. Frank could do it. Danny could do it. They don't even know how to boil water. Yeah, if 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 you can't follow those simple instructions, then you probably shouldn't be dealing with fucking flames and shit in the kitchen anyways. Guys, that's true. And, you know, we always tell a story. But, fu oh, no, actually, we actually got a new story. Danny actually made some pork chops the other day. Yeah. And we were scared as fuck because if you guys don't know, pork chops are a little bit hard to make because... You got to uh, be careful. You don't want to get sick with yeah, that Yeah, if you undercook them, then next thing you know, your stomach's going down to your fucking ankles. Yeah. But Danny actually whooped, whipped up some pretty fucking good pork chops these With are some a little like, side of fucking mashed potatoes and yeah shit it was too. fucking good he was in the kitchen for like 30 minutes 45 minutes whatever and he goes hey guys dinner's ready we come out we're like oh shit this yeah. motherfucker's not playing around how'd you do fresh, this man. 
He looked at us dead in the eyes and he said, hello, fucking Fresh. So we're going to look at you guys dead in the eyes and we're going to say, go try HelloFresh and use our code. Yep. So go to HelloFresh.com slash 16 sweet and use code 16 sweet for 16 free meals plus That's a lot. free shipping. 16 free meals. That's a lot, dude. That's fucking insane. If you're guys. in college and I know a lot of you are, man, try this 16 free That's shit. That's 16 free meals. That's like two weeks. Stop taking those. your broke ass to the fucking all these fast foods. I don't know if we could put them on blast and shit. Yeah. That shit adds up. Mm-hmm. That shit definitely adds up. Get 16 free meals. Give it a try. Get your ass in the fucking kitchen and learn some fucking new techniques with HelloFresh. Yeah, they do teach you some shit too. Um, so anyways, guys, go to HelloFresh.com slash 16sweet and use code 16sweet for 16 free meals plus free shipping. You don't even got to pay for free sh- for shipping because it's wow. free. It's highly... In- oh, whoops. My bad. <laughs> HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. And back to the rest of this podcast. Does uh, buying drinks for girls like at a bar does that work you think or almost never in my opinion yeah wow. yeah Dude, why why I, it's different like it depends on the context if you if your first approach is hey you're hot i want to buy you a drink never works never because they're yeah. always going to say yes whether they're reg- into you or not and then sometimes they'll just fucking bounce on you yep. that's definitely that happened to me and i've seen oh. it happen before <laughs> and i'm like so it's just like it's happened to me one time and i've never done it again right <laughs> like i'm like a you're i'm a lesson learner yeah i learned from my lesson yeah, yeah, psd for me <laughs> you thought he was sick with, yeah i was <laughs> like i was like watching her leave and i'm like I'll never do that again. Like, why, why would I ever? And As I was she like, was walking away, you're probably the drink, like, no, she, she like made a little bit of conversation first, but then bounced. But I was 18. <laughs> this was my first time in a college bar. And that's just all I knew about like, oh, I guess I'm supposed to buy a girl a drink if I talk to yep. them. Watch that happen. Never again. But, yeah. um, I but yeah, my homie do that too. And it just didn't go well, bro. <laughs> I've been hanging out with girls who are like, maybe I'm talking to her or whatever. And, and they're like, and, I want a drink. No. And guys will pull up on them. Like, Hey, you're hot. Like, let me buy you a drink. She'll get it and just turn around and fucking hand it to me no. and i'm looking at him in the face like i'm so sorry yeah. like it's a free drink I'm like, like and she'll it. order what i want like she'll get a tequila she, like, she, oh she doesn't God. even drink that she was oh just like God. she just finessed you for a dude yeah probably. for another guy yeah. i'm gonna fuck her later <laughs> yeah, yeah. he's that's like so this sad. hey you dumbass i'm yeah, right here that's fucking i would feel terrible if <laughs> i was you i would feel so bad yeah. do you ever see girls like just sitting at the bar waiting for a free drink like that's like their fucking yes. shit Ew. i mean Ew. the places Ew. i've the places i've worked at are higher end so those are escorts <laughs> like oh. those are escorts. like legitimately they're hot as fuck everything they're wearing is designer they just it's like almost like a call out like hey Come fuck uh, you me. could you could you could buy my time right now Dude, type what? shit like yeah but they're expensive they're not like and they don't he's like i've tried <laughs> <laughs> i've definitely flirted with some not knowing and then i learned price. yeah and i'm like what do you mean how how much what like <laughs> like I'm, like we can't just hang out like you know you don't fuck with me like but uh but yeah what about uh like ids do you like give a fuck about that i n- i personally never gave a fuck i never looked at the picture i never looked at the age i'm like <laughs> show me the id the camera sees me bet take it away <laughs> So like, but also the places I worked at never had underage people coming in, oh, so okay. that's why I didn't really care. It was higher end, yeah. And then also too, you just get checked in like at the front. Yeah, exactly. If it becomes like the club night, usually the the bouncers checking. I don't have to worry about it. Yeah, but you'd yeah. be calling people out on their fake IDs too. Yeah, I'm like this fake as fuck, but you're good. <laughs> <laughs> I've gotten that a few times. Yeah. <laughs> I also used to work security in college, so like I've had to check IDs once, and it was like. I'm not new yeah, to this Yeah, I was shit. like, everybody getting in tonight, boy. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like this. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I know the struggle. I have to use a fake ID to get into this place. I work here. Like, <laughs> So why did you drop out of college? Um, ooh, that's a, that's a good story. So I was in a frat. And as y'all know, frats are very degenerate. And it's like, and college is expensive. And because I was an immigrant and I'm on DACA, I wasn't able to do like, fucking financial aid i didn't get a loan from any bank i had to my mom was helping support like half and then the other half i was taking semesters off and working like in restaurants like fucking six seven days a week 12 hour shifts trying to make bread to go back to school and then you look at like i made like 40 grand over a semester once just being a waiter in manhattan and it was like at, at 19 i think i was looking at 40k cash you're like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? And then you watch it all disappear. And then you realize I learned nothing yeah, you feel like from, a from, I spent all this, like half on tuition and half on just fucking like <laughs> drugs and whatever party. You, whatever, <laughs> yeah. clothes. Whatever was entertaining yeah, you at the time. Yeah, whatever the fuck yeah. I wanted to, honestly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, um, 
And then, but then you watch like 40 grand just disappear like that. And yeah. you're like, dude, what the fuck? Like I could have. And then at the time I also had a friend who was like into entrepreneurship. He was doing like Amazon FBA and shit. Oh, and he would have taken. And I was like, if I had spent 40 grand on products like him and flipped it, I would have 240 grand, yeah. not fucking zero grand, you know, like, so learn that. And then I also started doing psychedelics. And then when I started doing, <laughs> I did psychedelics just recreationally at first with my homies and I was like loving it. And then there was one trip I remember. We, were, we had only one driver who was sober, so I was in the trunk. And it was Snoop Dogg, oh, Gin hell. and Juice. Was it a closed trunk? No, 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 like a, like a SUV trunk. Oh, okay, oh, I okay. Was, yeah. I would have suffocated no, no. Hell in that no, that's bitch. scary as fuck. Claustrophobic I'm not getting that, bitch. Go without me. I'm going to stay at home. <laughs> but we were trying to go to a park. We had one guy sober to drive, right? So we had to pile into one car. But uh, Snoop Dogg, Gin and Juice was playing. And <laughs> then I'm watching the fucking trees as I'm laying in the trunk change shapes. And for some reason, in that moment, as I'm listening to everyone just like laughing, being tripping balls, right? And then I'm just like, what am I doing? I'm in the trunk on drugs right now. <laughs> and then I'm like, I'm paying maybe 20 grand this semester for tuition myself. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, I literally killed myself to make that money. And I'm like, and then I thought about why do I do this? And it was like, oh, it's because all my friends do it. And then it's like, and I like having fun with them. But, but it's like, and I'm like, am I not allowed to have fun? And then I was like, I wasn't born into the situation that they were born into. I don't have both parents paying for shit. Mm. I don't, I'm, I can, literally can't even take financial aid. I don't have loans. So I'm like, my situation is a thousand times worse. Yes, I, yet I choose to live just like them. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, what am I doing? And yeah, I felt hella guilty, bro. Cause it was like at the time, like I was like, I need to get the bag quick and take care of my mom. Like I can't let my mom work for forever, you know? Yeah. So I was like, let me just fucking, and then I thought about it. I'm like, bro, I've been in school three years. And I'm still like fucking in GE classes. Damn. So I was like, I'm dropping the fuck out. Like, there's no reason to spend any more money at school. At the very least, let me stack paper because nothing can go wrong if I'm stacking paper. Right. Mm -hmm. So I, went, I just went back to work uh, making money as a waiter, which made pretty good money. And then, yeah. uh, and then I landed a status called DACA, which let me work in like actual places because mm -hmm. everything else was under the table. What? Yeah, because I wasn't even allowed to have a job back then. Like, so oh. you're you're doing forty thousand under the table cash. Holy fuck! So how were yeah. how were you like? Were you paying taxes or anything? No, dude. Shit? What the fuck? I was just that shit was just cash, and I was paying my rent in cash, and I was paying tuition through my mom, and I was just giving her the money. Oh shit! Yeah. Nice. So what was your frat called? Uh, Kappa Sig. Did you have you have like crazy fucking stories? Yeah, it was a lot of fucking partying. That's what, that's what school was it? Uh, SUNY New Paltz. In New Jersey? New York. The New York. State University of New York. Yeah. Oh, nice. Wow. Damn. How was the hazing for that? It was wild, but like nothing compared to like when you think of frats, you get these like visions of like basically like the Southern frats or even the California frats, honestly, mm -hmm. like way bigger, right? The party culture is just way bigger. That was like a small liberal arts school in like upstate New York. And even like the rest of the New York schools, like the city schools that are big, like frats are not like frats don't really do what they do out here you don't have houses in the city so mm -hmm. like would you go back and finish college and like hell no there is no reason for me to do that anymore mm -hmm. it would be an ego play because i feel like i could get to a status in life where maybe i could get into like i don't know like get into like some type of program at like stanford or some shit mm -hmm. right if i exit a company for a hundred million dollars like any college will be like come to our business program because we want this guy's name associated with our school wow. but yeah. At oh. that point, it's like, what do I give a fuck? I have a hundred million dollars, so yeah, I'm not. Yeah. I'm not gonna doing try. this shit for me, not for y'all. Yeah. But it was like, you know, being Asian and like there is that like stigma, stigma, that prestige that comes with it. But I think I've been successful enough at other things that most of these kids are not. That mm -hmm. it's like, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm not. I'm chilling. I don't yeah. need my mom. Doesn't need that validation. Yeah, yeah you did it your own way. Fuck yeah. that. How was she when you first dropped out? Um, it wasn't really a dropout at first. It was like, I'm gonna take time off because I genuinely don't know what I'm doing. So it was like, that's fine. And I had to anyways, right? To yeah. make money. Like I'm paying for it. Like myself. That's like the easiest. That's what we all do. That's like yeah. the easiest way to basically say, Hey, that's out. a tip for y'all, man. <laughs> Whoever, whoever's watching that wants to drop out. <laughs> yep. Let me just take some time off to make some money and like, you know, think more. <laughs> I'm like wasting. I don't want to waste <laughs> my no, time. I'm not going back to college. Yeah. yeah I have and for a while, money. dude, I was taking like computer science courses at a uh, community college to like, oh, shit. to keep up the. To keep up the illusion that yeah. I would go back to school. Oh, yeah. smart. That's yeah. smart. Well, da Danny used to say that he was still in fucking college when he wasn't. Yeah. When he was Are you would lie to your I parents? I said that for a whole semester. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I lied straight to my parents. And uh, I would just wake up early in the morning and go to his house or his house. And, and just, we would just film. Yeah, just Bro, film. I mean, I res a lot of what y'all did to, to get off the ground is like what y'all got to do. It's like fucking cr that crafty, like getting around. Like mm -hmm. you guys had a chessboard with pieces on it and you just made the best of it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You could have yeah. easily been like, I can't. 
yeah. gotta go to school because my parents want me to but you yeah. figured it out yeah that shit was crazy like i don't know how they believed me but i was just, <laughs> yeah. i don't know how yeah i really don't Bro, know you're how. gone though for yeah. half the day so yeah. they probably didn't yeah know so I w- we would literally just link up in the morning and then go to work or do what if they had work or if i had work i would uh-huh. go and then on the days off were the best because we would just be together but on day. the days where like they were doing shit what the fuck would you just leave the house and I would just the well leave. he could just say he had I'll, one class or, or yeah, something yeah, so he had work smart, too yeah. you, you picked up hours oh, yeah. shit you're strategic hours. about yeah. it well yeah, yeah me and Danny worked at the same job yeah. too so what, y'all, what did you guys do we uh, worked uh, for an after school program with the YMCA oh, okay. with kids yeah that shit was bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was like it was it. rough. It was rough. I, I don't know if I could work with those aged kids. Yeah, it was elementary school. Oh hell only. no! Yeah, no, they just be no. bullying you all day. And yeah, like, you guys just be nice to them no, yeah, all that day. Shit was really rough. Fuck yeah, they have some that. pretty crazy fucking stories. Yeah, yeah for we've real. heard some Jeez. crazy shit. For real. What's like the crazy? What's the crazy one? <laughs> The, the kid that well, I, there's a lot. I like no, the one I heard. Pants. Yeah, that's the oh, one I was just about okay, to say. That's heard, what I was afraid of. I heard like someone kid shitting sh- their yeah. pants. Like, well, he they did, did that to Julian. Julian. He did that to. But Julian. our job, our job was so fuck that they would even treat the ogiest worker, like even there before the that bosses. They treated her like straight shit. Like man. the kids? It sucked. No, yeah. No, the Jeez. worker. Like she was, uh, like they would call us teachers, right? She was the teacher for 20, 30 plus years, right? Jeez. And she was longer, longer. She worked there longer than the managers there, right? Right. So the managers would just come in from everywhere. She burned her foot one time, like what? just cooking the food. And they like said, "Well, we're not gonna pay you for like paid leave or anything." Oh, wow. that's so like gotta be illegal. Yeah, that's so fucked she, up. For I was sure so, illegal for sure. And, like she yeah. couldn't walk and shit. Her foot, her foot was all her fucked up. Was and California is very like very pro employee, so she could have definitely fucking yeah. won some money oh, off yeah. of that. Yeah. Shit. No, yeah. Th- there was one time where a kid was running around me and tripped on the back of my foot, and then got <laughs> back up and told everybody that I hit him. <laughs> <laughs> what? The- Fuck. Then I straight hit him. Yeah. And then the, I would have just talked. hit him for real. I would have just fucked him. <laughs> you Deco, what did you? And he, this is what a hit and is. And this little kid, he used to curse and everything. He, he was, was literally a he, silver tooth kid. He said, "You hit me, motherfucker." <laughs> I was like, "No." Everybody's looking at me. I'm like, "No." Yeah. You hit me, motherfucker. Yeah, you hit me, mother. I was like, "No, I didn't." No way. <laughs> yes, you dude. did. You did, Mister Lopez. Yeah. You did, Julian. Oh my god, dude. bro! I would imagine. be scared working with kids yeah, like man, that. Man, I'd be like, imagine. I didn't do shit. Yeah, dude. What's What's fucking funny is the the shitting the pants. It wasn't like they couldn't hold it in and they shit their pants. It was the kid wanted to fucking leave and he goes like, "Mr. Julian, I want to leave." And Julian's like, "You can't like not until your parents pick you up." And he goes, "Okay, I'm a shit." Yeah, and he shits himself in front of me, <laughs> like right like right, right in front, front of, of his face. He's like. Just probably staring, huh? You're yeah. just like, <laughs> wait, wait, what are these kids like different or like, no, 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 they no. sound different. Yeah. No. no, these are just normal, like elementary school, yeah, yeah, yeah. like They're average, just badass kids. Yeah. Yeah. What yeah. the yeah. fuck, Bad kids? But the thing was, so like before COVID, he had started working there, and I was already working there for a while, but we were the only us and another facility in the same uh city mm-hmm. were the only ymca facilities open. to stay open during yeah. covid so was it was even, even more fucked that. i was so looking at them like why hasn't that yeah. shit closed yet dog so we were still <laughs> working with masks on telling all these kids hey you guys gotta stay six feet oh apart. hell and no. there is no oh, way no. in hell that, that's fucking... why they took the job was because before covid it was fucking chill danny would be so like hey bro chill. like i just watch movies during the- <laughs> <It was so laughs> i would chill, face on this guy what are you doing i'm at work right now watching guardians of the galaxy i'm like what it was fire. It was so. Oh, so there was once upon a time that it was yeah, fun. Yeah, yeah. And, then, and then COVID. COVID it was just was so chill until it wasn't. You know. So then that that's fucking. Because why, why did you guys not leave? Well, money. we needed money, and but, we didn't yeah. know about ADD until we found out. Oh <laughs> fuck. Yeah. yeah. And then we hopped on that shit. Yeah. I didn't get a single dime from the pandemic, man. Really? Huh? Yeah. I got the stimulus checks, but no like unemployment, no fucking. What's no, that, what's no that scam that was happening? PPP? No, I didn't get that either. I know. We should have done the PPP. Dude, we know people that like got the PPP and they were fucking... They put in like Dogecoin. Made like 40000 Oh, I don't even want to hear about it, man. Yeah. I, yeah. I was so mad because it's like my... I was like grinding my ass off to like sell shakers and make TikTok videos. And then I'm making bread, but it was like I had to work for it. And then my homie homie, is like buying new new clothes every day, playing video. And I'm like... 
it's gonna pay off yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah but one thing i feel like with the pandemic like if you didn't scam or do that shit you kind of learned business during yes. that and then all those people that got all that money like where the fuck is it now really Very unless true. you made money off those yeah. but imagine you know? i had that money coming in and i was hustling <laughs> i would have never sat back on that money you know what yeah, i mean you probably would have bought like 45 of those jeans right that's there. what i'm saying man <laughs> these jeans would have another patch down here <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so uh, how'd you like, like, when did you start social media? Um, so I made an Instagram account for Bar Chemistry in 2019, but just did nothing. Like, I got to like 4,000 followers, but I was also following like 4,000 people. <laughs> so I was like, like, I was trying every like trick to like growth hack, like trying to trying to make it grow. Following right? people and then unfollowing. Yeah, that type of shit. Did that and then, um, b- but like through learning, basically through like trying everything on social media for about a year was when I was like, okay, I just got to like make good videos. That's about it. But I didn't know about TikTok until like 2020. And I learned about it, I think like January, 2020. And then March, 2020, like when we were losing our jobs, like everyone's running around like, oh, Cuomo just shut down everything. And everyone's like freaking out. I was like, yes, I'm going to, cause my whole thing was, I can't skip like, I had through. I only worked two or three days, but it was like two days is not enough. I need to be at home seven days a week making videos nonstop. Mm-hmm. And then it was like, but I if I do that, I'll lose out on money, and then I'll feel like I'm falling behind in life. Yeah. And I didn't like that feeling. Mm-hmm. But then it was like everyone's going home, and I was like, bet now now like none of you can work while I'm not working. And then yeah. I went home and I spent literally like I emptied my bank account on liquor bottles, and yeah, uh, I and I only had like four hundred dollars left in there. So it was like spent every dollar I had on liquor. And just like the best combination of like to make the most drinks. Mm-hmm. And then I was just making fucking three videos a day, every day. Damn. For like, yeah. Why bar chemistry? Like, like, why'd you choose that name? Um, it was like somebody used it as a hashtag, like a friend of mine just doing like some mixology shit. And he was just like hashtag bar chemistry. And then I was like, that's a cool name. It yeah. is pretty clean. That's I'm going to, cool. I'm going to use that name. It's fucking sick as and fuck. Yeah. 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 That's fucking crazy. So you really, well, so you were like you said, the other bartenders were living like this so-called rock star lifestyle too, right? Yeah. So were you living that lifestyle? Before? Oh, hell yeah, man. But I was still smarter with my money. Like I bought Bitcoin when it was 4K and then I sold it at like, well, I watched it go to 30K and then I watched it go down to 11K. And then that's when I sold oh, fuck. it. Fuck. But like, fuck. But the point was I was never going to sell it. But then I got the idea for my products where it was like, oh, no one's making these like matte shakers. And I was like, oh, I need like fucking... 18 grand to, to place this order so i was like i don't have 18 grand but i have two bitcoins so i sold that shit and then and then yeah and then that's how i started bar chemistry was with that money oh so you started selling shakers like right off the jump yeah no i i established the shaker business so then i'm sitting in the pandemic like how the fuck do i move shakers with no money what? no social presence so i was like i'm gonna make literally like i made nine videos a day i just posted three so i would just sit m- wake up i would work out sometimes i wouldn't eat food because i'm fasting to like m- have more time to make videos and like fucking just crank fucking videos and edit them and then i'll take the cocktail to my room had a picture set up i'll take a picture for instagram put it on instagram like it was just like my whole existence was make make this work yeah. so and what would you do with the drinks after do you like i would them? drink them sometimes and then i realized very quickly i can't be doing that shit yeah. <laughs> turn into an alcoholic yeah so i was like i just started dumping them. nine drinks a day yeah I, uh, dude this whole entire so time simple. i thought like you just started like the bartending videos because like you were a bartender and you're like oh, oh no, no. Me- it was strategic man i had to blow up my business yeah what dude that's Damn. so smart that's very did, really so did smart. you know that or no i didn't you thought the same thing as me yeah so dude, with, with this uh with the shakers right mm-hmm. so how when was like the first time you were like oh shit i'm actually starting to move these pieces and get all this shit going uh i made like the first month that i like when i blew up on tiktok i think it was like april 2020 like i started march took about a month and i started blowing up and then um and then the sales just started going crazy and i I think i made 40 grand that month and i didn't understand business either i didn't understand business so i didn't realize like I should have re-upped at like 10 grand. Like I should have placed the next order, right? But then I let almost all of it sell out before I was like, wait a minute. Once this sells out, there's no more money coming in. And I was like, fuck. And then I forgot about like, well, like I understood supply chain like as a concept, but I didn't realize that like pandemic would also make everything slower. Yeah. So once I sold out that first like order of 500, it was 1500 shakers, 500 in each color I had. Once I sold out, I had nothing. I was sold out for like literally like four months. Because I was just Damn. waiting on that shit to get to America. What the fuck? Yeah. Oh, I like Logan in glasses, man. 
You know who I feel like I look like in glasses right now? Zeke. Jeff. Oh, you do low key look like Zeke. He's good with my hair. If you, yeah, yeah, for real. If you had a beard, you would dead ass look yeah. like Zeke. Who's Zeke? He's from Attack on Titan, a fucking anime. Y'all don't watch anime? You watch it, or do you just watch like the popular ones? I watch a lot of anime. He watches anime. What anime is you watching this season? This season, I mean, Hell's Paradise, Demon Slayer, Vinland Saga. He told me about Demon Slayer. Mashal. Did you watch Mashal? Dude, I love Mashal's that hilarious, bro. <laughs> that would, dude, that would, that's like the funniest like anime I've seen. Yeah, it's, it's hella what's funny. What's so funny about it? It's just, the guy's like, <laughs> It's goofy. Know. It's just different from other animes because it is like comedy focused. You yeah. watch it with subtitles on Yeah, I, I like subtitles better than dub. Yeah, dubs, dubs sucks. Unless dubs it's Dragon sucks. Ball. There so, are some dubs that are very good. Like Dragon, Dragon Ball Super, Ball. right? Dubs is what? I think like Dragon Ball across the board is like you're supposed to watch it. Dubs dub. is oh, okay. when they don't they, speak. It's uh, when they talk English. When, yeah, when yeah. they speak English. And then subs when yeah, they talk Yeah, it does look the, ass on the thing. Yeah, sub sub is Japanese <laughs> where uh, and then you just subtitles. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. But I like Japanese voice actors because their yeah. their shit their their emotion, bro. I'd be crying watching like the most random scene because it's just so emotional. Dude, like, the like, fight scenes are crazy. Stupid. You showed me yeah. one crazy ass the, the fight chainsaw scene. Man. I was like, uh, what the fuck? Stu- you guys show him uh, Genos versus One Punch Man. Oh yeah, that that's that what fuck. One Punch Man was one of the. F- There's so much going on. It's bro. It's like. Cause One Punch Man is low key a parody anime, so it's like funny as well as like just beautiful. Badass. Like and, it's pa- and he explains their powers so like their their powers are dope. My boy, my actually. boy actually watches anime. Yeah, that's when I that's when I was like, I like this guy. Yeah, like, I fucking love yeah. anime. He's pretty cool. Yeah. Huh? He'll be yeah. like, her power is this and this, and I'll be like, okay, <laughs> yeah. I used to watch anime though, like before that shit got popular. Like when yeah. you used to be called like a nerd for it. Like you could ask this guy. I would read manga uh-huh. in like fourth grade. Like he wants during, an anime during lunch. tattoo. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I didn't say all that, but you did say cool. that. You don't want an anime tattoo? I don't know. I I want you a see? tattoo. Hey, but, look, but say I don't that. Know. look at this. You know what that is? That's a sword. Twenty-one from, seven. You know from where? <laughs> let me let me see. It's a knife. Right. No, go go the other way like that. Like this? Yeah. It looks very fucking familiar. Come on. What what the? Even I. You watch Bleach? Oh, see no. I've no? seen like oh, the you first didn't? 30 oh, episodes. Oh, fuck. Never mind then. I've only yeah. seen Naruto from the big three. Okay. Yeah. I haven't watched One Piece either, but Bleach is fire. Dude, and the I new, the new season of Bleach goes stupid. Bleach? Yeah. yeah. Like Bleach. Yeah. Nah, you know what I fucking hate? Is this guy will not watch anything subbed. Squid Games, he watched dubbed. No! You did, cuz? Yeah, well, did. that's disrespectful. <laughs> bro, well, like, yeah, I did bro you talking about real people? You dubbing the real people? <laughs> no, bro, like, it, it doesn't did. match it. It doesn't match it. I don't know if say. I did, to yes, be honest. Did. Honestly, I, I would watch know, it, though. I'm, I'm pretty, pretty sure he watched know. Parasite dubbed, too. Yeah. Oh, no. no that's I just one no, more. Yeah, he's capping on that. Okay. Parasite, no, I did You watched the dub. Squid Game, I did. I'm judging you right now. I'm not going to lie for that. Like, animations, maybe I could understand, but real people talking? <laughs> and you're gonna dub their voices, bro? Yeah, <laughs> I thought it sounded pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yo, that one girl's voice is hot, man. That hey, some of the Japanese guys voice. must have like humongous like dicks. With, with like, with like, Wait. how deep their voices? Oh, like, yeah, oh yeah. Yeah. and you're yeah. like, whoa! You like, recognize like certain voice actors? Yeah, and you're like, you're like dude, this like, voice is crazy. At least eight. Yeah. yeah, yeah, at least eight. <laughs> Minimum eight. <laughs> with the way that voice sounds. Yeah, yeah, it's fucking crazy. So what? you think the deeper your voice is, the bigger your dick is? I feel like it. I wish that was true. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah, I wish it was true. Yeah, I was just talking like this all the time. <laughs> <laughs> where, where were we at though before we started talking about um, anime? Yeah, uh, when I cut him off, what was that? It was like I think like business, like yeah, you're popping off. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, the yeah. Shakers. So you move the shakers, right? You start yeah. making forty grand in yeah. the first month. Yeah, and then what happened? I mean, it sold out within like another two months, and then I was just without product. And then so there was a time where I was struck, bro. There was a time where my bank account was like because I had hired too, so I hired uh, Eddie. And it was like, I was making brand deal money as well, but that was like nothing at the start. I had no manager. I had no idea what I was worth. So I was taking like $500 for a brand deal type shit. But I was also like, I was also like managing people's social medias and like consulting. I was doing anything to get bands, basically. Like anything I could think of, any value I could provide somebody. And, uh, And then, yeah, so I was just doing everything, making money to survive at the point that I had no shakers. And then the shakers come back in stock. That becomes my full focus again. And that was like the, the, the kind cycle of like the rotation. Of the yeah. Yeah. Fucking when you like had sold out on the shakers, how many followers were you at? 300 K. Damn. Yeah. Dude. On TikTok. Yep. It's possible. And that's when just everybody was in the house. Just like buying. Yeah. Shit I mean, also my product was perfect for. Yeah. What you Pandemic did. and oh. what I did. Yeah. 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 So where was it? Where, where were the most people buying your product from? 
Uh, it was just hard to say because it's just the big cities, right? Like that's where the most people are. Mm-hmm. Like there was a lot of New York, a lot of LA, California. California overall, there was a lot of Texas. There was a lot like my analytics right now. I think Houston is actually my most followed city. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Strangely, nice. like yeah. it's random that it'd be Houston. But wait, so you went to Houston? Wait, did you want to keep going? Down? I I had one other question, Go but I don't I don't know because <laughs> I no it was um what about like the ethnicity. Uh, I don't, are you able to like? I don't see think that? I was yeah. able to see that, but it's definitely it's a. What I've noticed about my audience is it's more diverse than I thought. Because a lot of people would consider me like an Asian creator, mm-hmm. but because my niche was like something universal, like yeah. people would like it was it was just all over. Uh, and I think we see that with Under the Influence too. Like we definitely have like a huge Asian support. Yeah. Especially with Nectar. Yeah, because it's Asian flavors. Exactly, and they want to just support like you know Asians like to support mm-hmm. Asians, but. I, we saw from like the the parties and the drops like wow this is actually extremely diverse like this is not just asians and that's why that's what made me confident that under the influence and like this what we're building is the is like the f- could be the first like asian creator group to break into mainstream per se because like with all the sick. asian people i grew up with like it was just asian people that watched mm-hmm. them it feels like yeah definitely good yeah Dude, i mean tim sick. tim tim de la ghetto he's one that like was definitely went full mainstream oh yeah. fuck yeah yeah he's, you he's guys will goat. for sure do it yeah okay. just keep up the good work thank you so man. uh from my understanding and from what you've told us right you guys only started your podcast under the influences uh, under the influence for nectar right basically yeah and now it's like it's a pretty big podcast for what you guys do are you guys taking that more serious now um i mean we've we've always taken it very very seriously yeah uh it, it's how do i explain this without saying too much so like <laughs> a certain thing is like we don't take brand deals i don't know if you've noticed that we, we don't we've well, never we don't do ad reads right yeah because oh. because nectar yeah. pays for everything so it's like the way we look at it is like we have this audience that loves us for us of course, like most shows should do ad reads because even I want to do ad reads. Like it's like if I believe in the product, I want to fucking get some. Get, I want to get my back. Like why not, yeah, right? right? But um, but there is like a limited amount of space for people to pay attention to what you're selling during an episode, right? Mm-hmm. And there is a way bigger benefit to selling your own product versus selling somebody else's product. Like there's a reason why Manscaped and fucking HelloFresh will pay you thousands of dollars to read your ad on your read their product ad on your platform. So it's like, why would I not read that about my shit? And because it's my shit, my audience will support a thousand times more. Mm-hmm. But that kind of gets lost in translation when you have six ad reads of a, a podcast, you know? Yeah. So like, I feel like let's say you guys drop merch, right? If you have seven other ads mixed in with your merch ad in a podcast, you would feel like it, it would lose the power yeah, of you your merch ads. Which to go yeah, for, I would yeah. just not have any other ads. I would rather have no ads in an episode where I'm going to launch my merch in, you know? So it's like... Oh, yeah. that's very fucking true. Because yeah. I think like <clears throat> Nelk, they just push Happy Dad and fucking their own shit yep. only. Like, yep. Did you so, see their, their ad reads for Happy Dad? They'll like dislike the other like big mainstream yeah, people that do, not do the stop, ads. Dude. They're like, fuck you, it's, blah, 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 yeah. fuck you, blah, blah, blah. They say, fuck you guys next. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that, that, <laughs> that's what you hey, want. Hey, low key. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I would love for them to give yeah, us that hey, press. Because anyone that tastes both would like, it's like, yeah. you know, Happy Dad is like objectively worse than even White Claw. Like I would drink White Claw over them any day. So it's like, if you're going to try to defeat the giant, you got to at least taste better than them, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah. We do love nectar. Over yeah. Here. yeah. Well, what were nectar you boys ask over here. Yeah. I'll shotgun a nectar right now. <laughs> do you guys have any? Like, no, have any you guys, you guys drink that shit like this, <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. Yo, hey. we, we send you guys like truckloads of <laughs> nectar and that shit disappears in a weekend. It's <laughs> fucking crazy. You, fuck that yeah, shit. Dude, we yeah. fuck it up. I know. Dude, even the last ones we got for the frat video. Yeah. People we're, loved them. Oh my gosh. We were like, okay, like we're probably going to have like some left. That over. picture's fly. And when Fuck I seen that no. picture of all of them shotgunning the nectar, I was like, I was oh. loving that picture. I was yeah, like, yeah, was that's like, why okay. we, that's why we send it to them yeah, for yeah, pictures that, like that. that. I was like, oh, he, he, yeah. Utah is going to love that shit. It was like, cool. We were kind of scared. We were like, fuck, should we ask? But we we're like, fuck it. We'll give them like a little ad placement. And yeah. in the, in like the first 30 seconds, it's like nectar. Nice. Right nice. There. Nice. Love this. Yeah, yeah. Wait, did you drop the, the video yet? Yeah. The frat video came out? Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. Right, Check it out. I, I've literally been waiting to watch it. That's so. That shit's crazy. Right now. Is it really? In my dreams. No, oh, man. That, that shit's crazy. Say, that, that's crazy if it's at 2 million. Yeah, we fucking wish. What is your most viewed YouTube yeah. video? It's 
like five, 560 something. Yeah, Damn, that's pretty fucking good. What were you going to say? Sorry, I cut you uh, I was just going to... Fuck, I forgot. It's all, <laughs> it's all good. No, 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 you're good. It was probably fucking irrelevant anyway. <laughs> Have you guys hit a, a, a video on your podcast to hit a mill yet? No, not a mill. We did um me and Vit going on Suburb Talks. Yeah, that was at a million. Dude, I saw that shit. On a fucking podcast. Damn, I know. Jesus. that's crazy. Yeah, fuck them. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, fuck those guys. <laughs> <laughs> probably made like 30 racks off of us. <laughs> <laughs> No, I love them though. I, I want to take that back. I, I want to make sure it's out there that I love Nick. I love the Suburb Talks kids. I don't take it back. Fuck that. <laughs> so there's always this stigma, like when you come to LA, everybody's fake. And uh, stuff. Um, do you believe that's true? Did you see my video on that recently? Or like, nah, what no? video? Oh, I made like a little vlog thing Low about key. it. You saw it, and that's why. Uh, no, I don't think it's true because I think there's fake people everywhere. Like especially in a big city with opportunity, like people are gonna go and try to get their way, whatever way they can. Mm -hmm. And L.A. it appears fake because what it attracts is clout chasers, and clout chasers are the fakest type of people. Like it's just weird. Like you know, you've you've experienced it for sure. Mm -hmm. But also, what I like about L.A. a lot is that because it attracts like the creative energy. Like I've also met the most like impressive human beings ever like mm -hmm. consistent constantly too and that's why when people say that like oh la's full of fake people i'm like that's because that's what you attract like i actually meet a lot less fake people because if i meet y'all and i'm like i like you guys because you're real and, and you're hella LA. impressive like we from out here but yeah. hey to me as an outsider la is, LA is all it, of yeah, it yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. this yeah. surrounding yeah. area California. if ah, i could drive so to good. it that's la like, yeah. <laughs> no, i hate when people do that though because it's not like that <laughs> no i know but i think that's what people think of in the outside yeah. especially because y'all yeah, are creators yeah. and influencers that's mm. what i would say about new york so. yeah exactly yeah, and that, that's yeah, exactly. that's the same shit i'm not about to explain uh -huh. to you the boroughs yeah, and all like, oh, no, no, that's, that's actually westchester or i actually live yeah. in jersey like no nah, it's just that's the area i'm from but yeah yeah, but yeah, so like, let's say I meet y'all, mm -hmm. you introduce me to your friends, if you're hanging out with people and I think you guys are fire, they're no, most likely not these like fake annoying types either, and then it just kind of cascades that way, right? Like, That's yeah. exactly what happened with like, because you started hanging out with Suburb Talks and stuff, yeah. and then we thought the same thing, like, oh, like, they must be cool, Yeah. and then, I don't know, you probably thought the same thing. Yeah, literally, <laughs> I was just like, they, they have to be cool because the people that I respect and I think are yeah. very cool, vouch for them so heavily. So it's yeah. like, and it's never been wrong, honestly. Mm, yeah. yeah. Unless one of you had like bad judge of character where I'm like watching you hang out with shady people, but like <laughs> y'all don't do that. Nah. Yeah, so. We fuck with each other around here. Exactly. Yeah, yeah we yeah. really don't hang out with a lot of creators. Yeah. Also too, cause like our hometown friends are still, we're yeah. still like fucking yeah. 20 minutes away from them. Yeah. Mm. So. You guys are like hometown heroes. What? You think so? Yeah, I, I don't think know. So. That was a statement. That wasn't <laughs> yeah, a question. Yeah, by yeah, that's that was what a I'm statement. saying. You fucking so? Fergie that's went to our high that. school. Fergie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so you'll always live in Fergie's shadow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a big shadow, though, bro. Yeah. Yo, is. fucking uh, Jeremy exactly. went to high school with Jeremy Lin. Or not went to. Oh, no. <laughs> same high school. So I was like, bro, how does it feel that you will never be <laughs> the best Asian Jeremy to come yeah, out of your high school? Not even the best Jeremy. Bro, like, you can't. You could even narrow it down to Asian Jeremy and you're still losing. You got to like make it super specific. Like Korean seltzer Jeremy and then maybe you're the number one. And it's like, and that's tough. To Harvard. Yeah. That guy is like unfair, man. I know he is. He really There's is. like that one meme of this Asian guy named Johnny Kim. Dude went to Harvard. He was a Navy SEAL. He fucking oh, is an, oh, yeah, he's he's an, an astronaut. astronaut. Yeah. It's like, bro. What and are a you, doctor? What, yeah, and he's a doctor. And it's like, what are you doing? Like, <laughs> did you not collect enough yet? Like, I don't understand. <laughs> it was like, it was like a, a, every Asian parent's dream. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> this, that was my neighbor growing up, the way that my mom would talk about the fucking kid, man. <laughs> that shit was fucking funny. Yeah. Um. So I wanted to like kind of go uh straight into like, how do you avoid hangovers? Ooh. Uh, <laughs> he's like fuck yeah he's like, I, love I love Club you yeah i love you soda and tequila oh, no, no, you're good you're good yeah uh so there's a there's hangovers are like a lot of different parts obviously right mm -hmm. but like being hydrated i think is number one and then like having food in your stomach so if you prepare for the night of drinking correctly you're gonna avoid a lot but how do you, how do you prepare correctly that's what the club soda eat is food for. and hydrate oh, throughout the night oh, so like I'm drinking sure. water in between drinks but I'm, I've like always been into like kind of biohacking and taking supplements and it was only recently I think like six months ago I realized there is a supplement that protects your liver against alcohol and it's called DHM um, and it's literally like a miracle supplement like that shit works so well to protect your liver 
but what it does is basically it's like a condom for your liver and then the, the it literally is a condom for your liver and I then some of that shit. And, and yeah, then the, I was just about to say we didn't fucking that, we, yeah. we, we, we you should we, because yeah, you guys drink a lot yeah we're talking and it's about not like, even bro. like for like avoiding not even if avoids the hangover but it also protects your your health long from term, long yeah long term, term. term so it's like putting a, li- a condom every time you drink on your liver and then the poison that's created from alcohol being broken down, acetaldehyde, like you guys don't need all that stuff, Fart but chemistry. that's what it is. Mm-hmm. And that's, it basically protects against that. So you just piss it out. But yeah. you, you yeah. still get drunk? You like still the- get drunk. You, that's what DHM is better at than some other solutions to anti-hangover is that some of them just protect against alcohol, period, and you don't get drunk. Versus wow. like this DHM specifically protects you your liver. Drunk against acetaldehyde Mm -hmm. and then there's other factors to a hangover though there's like nausea right and then there's like other reasons why you're getting nauseous and a headache like it also drains you of your b vitamins so that's why you get headaches so like you know so a b complex would also help and this is a shameless opportunity to plug my my new shit thank you logan okay dr Wu. so uh this is my new (laughs) endeavor this is something i've been working on for like the past like fucking six months i think it's like I've always been into health and shit because like my mom is a health freak, but um, this is super bonsai. Basically, I realized that like some same with like DHM that there is like a natural ingredient in this world for almost every issue you have. And when you take it, like what it does for you is almost like you're unlocking a superpower. So I realized that no supplement brands really look at it that way. It's everything mm-hmm. is like, I'll take this vitamin because you're feeling shitty this way and blah, blah, blah. But mm-hmm. nothing's like yeah. uplifting. Nothing's like, bro nothing's really addressing it the way it is like if i take dhm and i can drink six nights in a row in texas and wake up fine every morning that's a fucking superpower is that what you did that's what i did i would nice. bro i would sleep four hours and have to wake up and drive to a new city and do it all again and i was just good the whole time man if okay, that shit works that like that yeah, yeah there's not this is just the sample bottle but that's dr Wu right there. and obviously you, you guys will be receiving what like when we mean? launch in late june you guys will re- be receiving a shipment yeah what is this, what is that this shit? called yeah. here huh what is this called here? so that's super recovery that's our first product from super bonsai which is a hangover uh prevention product it's superhuman alcohol recovery so it like dhm that i just explained it does all that shit for your liver but that's only one part of it so we took eight natural super ingredients that tackle basically like every part of a hangover put it into one pill you take three before you drink and that shit had me fucking good all of fucking texas man and so you're tipsy still yeah like, oh yeah hey. i'm fucking drunk but so this pill right uh-huh um so you take three are you supposed to take it every day or just only no no just drink? before you drink okay yeah and it's like you guys need it because you drink a lot yeah, yeah, but, yeah, like, yeah. but hey, the y'all. average yeah, person dude. is not really drinking like y'all right but okay. what it is is it just protects your liver like why would you not if you were gonna i guess the sex thing is not a good comparison because most people tend to fucking fuck random people with no condom anyways but yeah. like if i'm gonna drink i'm just gonna put the condom on my liver anyways if, whether it's a casual couple drinks or i'm getting fucked up i literally don't drink without it anymore because of like okay i live this lifestyle if i want to do this for a while like i have to take care of you my have health. to protect yourself yeah. when do you yeah. plan on dropping that shit uh late june oh, here but I we yeah. do have Ooh. for anyone that wants to be notified of when it drops um we have a phone number that you can text into i'm gonna can I drop that right now? Yeah, yes, go ahead. Go ahead. Yes, we'll I got. I gotta look it up though. You got. We gonna bleep it out. <laughs> Don't do that to me, man. I fuck with the jar. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna. I, I was gonna fuck tell with you, the dude, jar. Hey, it looks like a potion shit. bottle, right? Yes. Yeah. This Bro, looks I can't. Like it'll I can't take wait. Care of you. Yeah. I can't wait for you guys to see the content because it's like this is like my masterpiece. Like of all the things I've learned in content. How early can you get that? Uh, June yeah, June twenty second is probably the earliest launch date that we're targeting. Damn, that's what about for like us? Like, oh, you guys will get it first. Cause I'm talking we, about for Texas. Cause we, yeah. oh, I'll send I'll send you guys like a replacement in the we meantime. Have we have been, samples and shit, oh, so like I'll get one of them makes us like fucking throw so up because it's a excited. sample. No, no, they're like testing samples. Kidding. Yeah, cause cause we have been fucking like talking about that. Like, bro, like we're drinking a lot. Like, you know, we've been doing this for like a year and a half, two years. It's kind of time. Like, we need to take a step back and be like, all right, are we gonna like and take your health seriously, man? Murder yeah. our livers. For you just see me take a shot. Ninety thousand views. <laughs> Yeah, so you guys can text Sweet Tea to eight four four six eight eight zero zero four one, and you'll just basically be on the list to like get notified when uh, when it drops. And we also have an AI. So Justin Lee, that you guys know, he's mm-hmm. my co-founder. He's a genius, like I keep saying. He's built an AI into our text platform, so you can literally talk to AI like same way you do in Snapchat. We called her Bonnie. 
She's got she, Bonnie is going to be a very big part in the content rollout yeah. we have, like similar to like Cortana for Halo. Oh, wow. So like, yeah. So the whole thing we're doing is like we want to create like a video game world in real life where supplements are power ups. So like those are all the products that nice. are coming out, and they'll be like these like super blends. That's and, sick as fuck. Yeah, I'm just very excited to, to bro. I've been working on this for like fucking months yeah, I'm now. I'm excited for you. Bro, I'm yeah, fucking, I'm excited I, to try you it. Need some investors, eh? Yeah, I mean, absolutely, man. And I like you guys are like the perfect type of content too. To, like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm actually fucking like, For real. like I want I, that shit right dude, now. No, yeah. yeah, I want that shit right now. I'll send y'all some. I'll up. send y'all some, and you, you guys can like just try we'll it for put yourselves. Put it to the test. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and then like, uh, but you need. Wait, when are you going to Texas? Next week. Fuck. Yeah. God, that's so soon. Wednesday. All right. I'll, I'll, we'll talk after. I'll, yeah, I'll get yeah, you I'll something. Yeah. Dude, sure. that. We'll make oh it himself. Dude, so if any yeah, you see me in the back grinding up herbs. I'm like, I've got, I've got to save them. <laughs> You're all saying like a fucking spell. Like, dumb. dumb, dumb. I'm like, oh, fuck. What is you come in, I'm like fucking like floating off the ground. Like, <laughs> I'm like, hey, fuck it. If it works, it works. <laughs> and then it makes us start floating off the ground. So I'm about to text Bonnie right now. How did you get the idea for that shit? For, for what shit? Super Bonsai? Yeah. Uh, Justin was the one that brought it to me. He's the one that told me about DHM because... What, he takes it. Yeah, what's funny enough about DHM is it actually also works for Asian Glow. So, oh, really? Yeah, so it's a Which, similar... I have that. Yeah, he has that. Oh, bag. you have that. Oh, yeah. shit. So it could it's help red. you too. There's There mm -hmm. are other factors. So like Asian Glow products have... Ours is specific for hangover, but DHM specifically, he, like Justin takes it for his Asian Glow and he's fucking chilling. Wow. So he gets it really bad. He was taking this for a while and then he realized, and then he realized like we were working on something else together, me, Justin, and our third co-founder. Mm -hmm. And then this idea just came to us like, bro, like this is the perfect team to build this out. And it was just like a perfect fucking fucking. It was like it was like we got married right there. Yeah. <laughs> and now I see that man every day. Sorry. <laughs> sex. Yeah. Sorry. Actually, fucking. Yeah, we just met some two guys that just got married. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Crazy. Like randomly or like. Your no. Friends? So it's, it's a funny ass story. Can we say it? Yeah. Right. Should we say it? I, I think so. So, well, well, one, so okay. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm well, scared. Well, well, we'll just. <laughs> all right. So. Well, we'll tell them and take it out. Yeah. So one of them was in like the army, right? Okay. Marines. Ooh. I, was, I just switched it just oh. so that we could leave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he corrected it. I thought, corrected I thought it. I thought that part out. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so so he was in the army, right? That was funny. And, and he, <laughs> that, was <so> funny. <laughs> that was some that was some bit shit. I feel like Vit would do that. Like, okay. Yeah. So so he was in the army. And um, he was only making sixteen hundred dollars uh, a month, dude, which is not shit. Get the fuck out of here, man. So he was um at the time he him I think he was living with like his best friend, and they kind of came up with the idea like, bro, why don't we get married? Like you get so many more benefits and all that shit. No, it was a joke they said at yeah. first, because he was like, dude, I want to get married, um, and I don't have no one to get married. And then the homie said, hey, why don't I just marry? Yeah, he's man. like, you've done so much for me, like I'll help you out. Yeah. So it got to that point, and they ended up doing it. They went to did they go to Vegas? G getting Wasn't married, it not both fucking. of them, or just one of them? It was just one. It was oh. just one of them. Oh, yeah, really? Them. Okay. One of them. And then so there's three homies in the group, right? And then the other homie, he's like, he goes they, to the ceremony yeah, where they in, in the, the court, and he's like this. <laughs> he's like this <laughs> recording like, yeah, yeah. for like 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah, and they end up having to kiss because that's how you get married, you know. Seal the deal. And so now they're married. They're still married, and they're about to hit like a year. Yeah, and they bought a house. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because it's like zero, uh, zero percent down or yeah, nothing. Yeah, you get like the craziest benefits if you're married in the military. <laughs> he went. Yeah. He went from making fifteen hundred to like seven thousand. Mm -hmm. It's that drastic. Yeah, yeah. it's that yeah. drastic. It jumped. No, yeah. that's why that stereotype of like all the military dudes want to get married right away. Is yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's it's, it's fucking true. worth it. Yeah, it's worth it. It's absolutely fucking worth yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I would I would fucking kiss my homies for an Hell extra yeah, five bro. grand. I, would bro, I need a I green card. I, I need a green I card. I'm trying to get married too. Like, what's up? You slip tongue. They better give us fucking twenty racks. Shit. <laughs> but <laughs> okay, what the fuck? Uh, nah, because he said it'll slip tongue. <laughs> hey man, for the extra five racks. <laughs> <laughs> I, we got to start. They're, they're right? watching the fucking video back and they're like, no tongue. Uh, two k a month. <laughs> I'm, all, I'm all grabbing the ass. <laughs> An extra thousand? <laughs> He's kissing on his neck. <laughs> I, I grabbed the dick by accident like that. Oh, my bad. My hands in his pants. I'm sorry. He hits him with like the super dramatic like drop him. And kiss him oh, like this. <laughs> but what's even fucking funnier is the guy that has the video. He like shows people. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And he's like, dude. watch this part. Watch this part. And they go like. <laughs> and then they, they like do like this like tight ass hug where like the other guy's lifting the other that guy up. That shit was so funny. Dude, one of the funniest crying, fucking things dude. ever. 
<laughs> and it was funny because I because I was talking to him, and I was I was just talking to him about him being in the military and shit. I'm like, bro, you should get married, dude. Like, like there's not like a girl you're seeing. And then the other homie goes, I think it's time we break the news. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They they looked at each other and they're like, should we break the ice now? What the fuck? <laughs> that's so funny, dude. I've never. That's always a thought of like, why don't people do this? But I've never ever dude. heard of anyone really doing. We that were shit. fucking dying. And these it. are yeah. your, you know, these people are yeah, like yeah, random. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh yeah, we know bro. these people now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's like it's the fucking plot to I now pronounce you Chuck and Larry. If you've ever seen them, yeah, I've never I've with never uh, Adam Sandler and, and Kevin James. It's funny as shit. Yeah, never seen it. If you need to watch so it. Funny. What's it, I mean, it sounds like it's like it's this. it's about um this this widow firefighter mm-hmm. uh for his life insurance to like keep keep like, you know, being money or whatever. Fucking he has to like be married or some shit for it to be like a certain amount. And that amount would cover like his kids if Casey dies. And since he's a firefighter where it's his uh, life is at risk, mm-hmm. he like really needs that life insurance money. So he marries his best friend to get that extra life insurance. Yeah, but it's funny because it's there's like a funny. there's a fucking guy that's a like a police to see if it's fake yeah. or not. And he's like oh yeah. like and, a detective. And yeah, yeah, and he's like, Oh so I gotta put more shit in the trash and they'll be like, like we gotta we hand. gotta gayify the trash. Yeah, we gotta gay it up a little bit in here. <laughs> and, like, what the fuck? and then they gotta start like sleeping together and all yeah, that shit. So and then his really. wife passed away and he's like, I can't sleep with you and he's like, nah. He's like, Come on, she's not here no more though. <laughs> I'm like, damn <laughs> Yeah. He like he fucks with them bad. It's a yeah. funny ass yeah. movie. I'm gonna have to watch it. That you sound. have. Yeah, it's on Netflix right now. Okay, but let's uh, restart real quick. Is there any other questions you guys uh, do, had or do, want to ask? Do, do. We could ask a few more. I mean, there you go. Do you have some? Thank I you. got a lot. I could talk to this guy. Oh about. shit! I got more too. That's the red button. Did you touch it? Oh see. shit! That's hard. The GTA fucking Sweet Tea merch. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You guys no, do have no. good merch always. So. <laughs> thank yeah. you. Who design like y'all design it like yourselves or? We uh we work with a company oh, that yeah. uh helps us out and they have like designers and then mm. they do a lot of the back end stuff for us. Pretty cool. Yeah. Yep. That's how that's how it should be done. You don't want that work on your plate. We did no, it for like the first couple. Yeah. We didn't try. Yeah. We did that motherfucker. Julian, is it recording? No, so we couldn't. No yeah. I feel like the you guys one. should go like the Nelk route of like yeah. building out that's, products. You that's know? what like, we're trying to do. Yeah, because yeah. that's why Nelk is so successful. Is because they have so many ways their fans can support them versus like especially with our videos getting demonetized exactly that's like the main part that fucks us yeah i mean you guys are literally the same lane as them low-key it's like shit that youtube will not fuck with brands might not want to touch it's it's red at the corner it should be that one's recording okay sweet Sweet. Mm -hmm. you want to start with the question or you want me to go ahead i wanted Mm -hmm. to fuck oh yeah go ahead i wanted to ask uh why did you start doing like health trends on on like tiktok and like just i see them on instagram reels but yeah so i um i did ayahuasca like i think five months ago Uh uh-huh that changed one i've always been health focused in my life like just growing up and then um but like the change like ayahuasca kind of turned me around like 180 degrees in like so many ways Mm -hmm. and um one of the ways was like i don't know if if what i'm currently doing is fulfilling me which was like bar chemistry stuff. Like I love bartending. I'm passionate about cocktails still. It's a great hobby of mine, mm-hmm. but it's like, it's been, I've been doing it now three years. And if I don't, this is a random fact, but the average lifespan of a creator is three years, an online creator. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and it's for many reasons, right? Either you fail, either you just as a person grow, you succeed and you take that money, you do something else, you know, like whatever it is, right? It's not always a bad thing, but, and I'm not saying, and bar chemistry is not ending, but what it, what it felt like was like, like I learned so much during these last few years and I fucking like have so many new connections. Like I, I, where I was starting at 2020 when I built bar chemistry is not where I am right now. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm like light years ahead. So what I can start right now is so much different. Like I can actually create something that one would be good for the world, make good, like, you know what I mean? Like make content that like with every video I make could do some good somewhere else. That's how I felt with the podcast too. And it was like, Oh shit, that scared the fuck out of me. And it was myself. (laughs) <laughs> that was hella uh, I was like, whoa. I was like, what is that? And then it was my hand. But um but yeah, and then and then so I started to think about all that because like back in twenty twenty, I did what I had to do. You know what I mean? Like I did what what the I used the only pieces I had to get whatever to get as far as I possibly could. But now it's like I have options. So it's like what do I want to do? 
And it was like, I want to make good impact in the world. I am passionate about health and wellness. I take like 45 vitamins a day. So it's like, you know what I mean? Like what this almost felt like the natural next step for me. And, um, and yeah, and I just wanted to share like some of some goodness and it's like, I'm not like a doctor. Right. So I was like, how can I make health content in a way that's like, not me like directly trying to teach people. It's like, let me just try shit on myself. Like, cause I'm into like, I've done Wim Hof before I've taken cold showers. Like I do all this shit normally. So it's like, let me just share with people like what I'm trying on myself and maybe they'll do it with me. And yeah. then that, that felt like the cleanest yeah, way to I handle that. I fucking love it, dude. I thought I was like, damn, this shit's so fucking smart. Cause I feel like uh, if you drink too, you kind of get to like a point where you're like, okay, I, I kind of need to start being a little bit more healthier. <laughs> yeah. So that's why I feel like it fits the whole entire like bar chemistry uh, narrative. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I just, I fucking, I love like the whole entire, like you experiment on yourself and it's not just, you do it one time. Yeah. You're doing it like uh, two weeks, right? Mm -hmm. So it depends on the trend, like liquid chlorophyll. I've been taking it for like almost a month now. Oh yeah. yeah. So that? the liquid chlorophyll, bleh, liquid chlorophyll is um, the shit that makes plants green. So basically plant blood, but um, the, it's like, it is science, but it's also like pseudoscience. It's almost like yeah. witch, witchy. Like it's like hippie shit. shit where they're like taking this will do these these things for you, but there's so many reported cases of it actually doing that. A NLE Choppa takes it every day, and he yeah. made like a very very viral video about it, and that's why I used him in my like being like NLE does it. His skin looks great. I'm gonna start taking it. Damn. Yeah, so, I do think it works though. So Eddie has psoriasis, and he's been doing it with me, and he's like, dude, I haven't been itchy. Like it's like it's been helping him far more than it's been helping me because he had bad skin. Mm -hmm. So it's so like, what oh, is wow. uh, liquid chlor chlorophyll supposed to do for you? It's supposed to like. I don't know the science of it, literally, but yeah. li like you're supposed to mix it with water. You drink it. You can't d drink it too much. You can also over drink it, right? But um, basically, like, plant. yeah, like how it reacts with you inside. It just like kind of like it's good for your skin. It's good for your odor. Like, oh, yeah, shit. all these things. But that's why I never claim to be like a scientist or a doctor because oh, yeah. I'm like, I saw this trend. I'm gonna do it on me. Y'all can watch me do it and see if you want to do it. You know? Yeah. What, what's the breathing one? The way, uh, that's when I was Wim Hof. About when your Wim lips Hof? turned purple. Okay, so yeah, Wim Hof. That shit was funny. That shit bro, was crazy. I learned about Wim Hof in like 2018. From and a when YouTube I, video. Yeah. yeah oh, he was hella viral for. I, I, I remember reasons. seeing this. Set. I think I know the one you're talking Dude, about. I mean, he was. He's a. This guy's a, a crazy madman genius. Monster. So, breath work is actually a very old technique. Uh, it's like hit like I think Hinduism they practice it. Uh, but a lot of ancient cultures used breath as like a forms of like healing power, all of that shit. Right. Mm -hmm. And even like think of like, oh, you're having a panic attack. Take deep breaths yeah, like you know, that type breathing, of shit. Right. Out, yeah. So Wim Hof is this Dutch scientist who fucking has climbed Mount Everest in shorts. People have in they've injected E. coli into him in like a controlled study and his body defeated it on the spot. Like it was like it just ran into acid or some shit like it just. Oh, fuck? And then. um. And yeah, and he can just withstand, like they study his body because it literally, quite literally is superhuman, the things he's able to do. And the way he teaches, like why I'm able to do these things and why it's good for me other than just doing crazy shit, like touching ice all the time is because I practice breathing and I constantly expose myself to cold. So that's why ice baths are very popular now too, is he's a big reason. And, um, and the benefits of all this to the average person is like improved immune system baseline like mental health like it's so crazy how it affects every avenue of health that it's like why would anyone not do this and it just created this whole explosion of like wellness bros i would say like there's a lot of girls that do it too but it's definitely yeah. like almost gym bro culture mm -hmm. but in a more healthy way like gym bro culture almost leads to like steroids always yeah. you know which yeah. is very not healthy <laughs> or eating like ungodly amounts of chicken breast and it's like that's not health <laughs> that's fitness you want to look yeah. good but like health and wellness like that encompasses so many things, spirit, mind, body, right? And like yeah. breath work, cold exposure, those things tackle all of them. Dude, that shit's crazy because now that you're talking about it, I've seen, ever since you started doing it, I've seen this guy on TikTok. He's like doing like 365 days of ice baths. Yeah, I've seen that, yep. guy. that yeah, guy. seen that guy. And he's like on day 190 and his ice baths are literally frozen yeah. and he has to crack it open. Yeah, he throws yeah. some shit in there. And then yeah. Like, oh, I, I've been great. watching that guy too. Yeah, he's yeah, fire. He's, he's a beast. He's dope as fuck. And yeah. he Dude, just stays And he'll there give you like a little what? motivation while he's sitting in there. Yeah. He's, yeah. Like, he's there for like, how long? Three how minutes. Long yeah, Bro, it, yeah, that, I'm, that's a guy on TikTok. Yeah, that, like three minutes is tough. I mean, it's a and, thing that you build up yeah, to, right? Yeah, but I know two eyes. 
Today he did it was like one degree Celsius. In oh there. hell no! Yeah, he always measures that. Yeah, oh, it's it's because he lives in like a spot where like it it yeah, freezes it's naturally. Be, so yeah. he just has That's to. Yeah. He always has it. I gotta go buy twenty six dollars worth of ice at Target. Yeah, <laughs> so you do that every shit every day? No, no, not every day. I'm I'm trying to do it for a couple weeks, uh-huh. um, where I do eleven minutes a week. So my favorite health oh, and yeah. wellness podcast is Huberman Labs. The guy is a oh, bi- neurobiologist neurobiolo- at Stanford, Ge- literal genius. But he. He is like one of the leading voices of basically all this like studies and information because his mm-hmm. podcast is so popular and he will actually read these studies and break it down and tell you what's bullshit and what's not. And then um, and then obviously you have to have like a little bit of trust in him because it's just a guy telling you this shit. Yeah. But, like, <laughs> I but, trust everything though. I just, yeah, low key. Yeah. I mean, he's a very trustable guy. He's like also hot. Like it's weird. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm not lying. He's his jacked, great beard. Too, yeah, but. voice is great. But sometimes he's using too many big words at once, and I'm like, slow down, buckaroo. Like, I don't know what you just said. But he uh, he recommended that, or not recommended, from studies, you can kind of tell that 11 minutes a week is what you need to really get, like, all these crazy benefits, like baseline dopamine jump, improved immune system, better sleep, heart health, like, all that. So, yeah. Nice. Yeah, because uh, he's always he's uh, he's kind of <coughs> like a not health freak, but he's into like health and like the wellness and yeah, stuff like, like that. Mm-hmm. Shit that you're talking about. And he, he's been into like uh, ice baths as well. And we fucking tried looking into getting one. Dude, that's but, expensive. But but, but the one where like you don't need ice, that's yeah. just like six racks. I know, dude. It's hella expensive. It's worth it though. Bro, a sauna is like two racks. I would get a sauna. Yeah, first. I was just about to ask. Do you think sauna, sauna like that, I love that sauna. shit push like it's really, really good for you? It's very, very it. good for you. It's, they're yeah. they're in the same studies. It was I forget what how long you gotta be in the sauna way longer though, and way hotter than most people are. Yeah. But um after a certain amount of minutes a week in the sauna, like it also has these like not the same exact benefits, but it's just the exposure to extreme temperatures that forces your body into like doing some crazy shit oh so has the same health benefits as an ice bath no no i don't think i can't list you the health benefits right now but it's it's different but it is like in the same vein because when i like the oh my bad the one thing that fucking i wanted to chase with that ice bath that the sauna doesn't give you is that fucking dopamine yes spike. it's Mm -hmm. supposed to like after you expose yourself to that fucking super cold plunge Uh uh-huh that, Get that, in I the heard sauna. It from him. Yeah, it spikes your dopamine, but it was weird how they studied it. it. Said it lasted like throughout the day. Yeah. So it wasn't just a spike, and then you come back down like right yeah. after. It just fucking. You know who was telling me that? Um, and he's been doing it. One one of our buddies from high school, uh, Josh Tanel. Oh, yeah. yeah dude, he was that's doing crazy, it, and man. he said he said he never used to be an early riser, but one of his buddies got the ice bath, and he would make him wake up at like 6 a.m. to do the ice bath he would go in there for like two to three minutes or i don't know how long uh-huh. but he said he would go there and he would never feel tired at all during just, the day after oh, that throughout your day Bro, I, feel good. I mean one that's a real fucking homie right there because he changed yeah. his life off for just that one ice bath yeah. but it, it cold showers too if you guys aren't ready for an ice bath like cold showers in the morning is it is like noticeably different levels of energy throughout the day. Yeah, he told me before too. He was like, "Frank, you just fucking turn the water cold real quick." Yeah, and I was like, "Okay." But don't yeah. you can't be hot first. You yeah. gotta let the cold water no, hit you I straight. My, I had my shit hot. No, yeah. no, no. Start doing at least in the morning. It's tough doing fucking cold showers at night because yeah. you're like want to relax. But in the morning, when that energy is so valuable, like, and you just get straight to the cold, bro, mm-hmm. it is. Because think of, like, that adrenaline that fucking yeah, like, rushes oh, over it's you. Like as a, it's hits. like a, ooh. Hey, yeah. me and Logan be talking how we be talking shit to the shower head. Yeah. Like, yeah. You got to motivate yourself. Yep. That way. I'd be like, come on, you're a fucking bitch. You got it. Yeah, like, yeah, I sit there. It's happen. funny how everyone does it differently. I sit there like I'm in an anime, just in a waterfall, just like. <laughs> I've heard that you're not supposed <laughs> to do that, though. That's for that's for cold plunges. So yeah. for, um, for ice like cold showers and cold plunges are different because in a cold plunge, if you're still, you start to get this layer of protection. Yeah. Because your body heats the water that's touching your skin, and then it's not nearly as cold anymore. Yeah. So and you I, have to move in the cold plunge to, to really get the the benefit. Yeah. But in a cold shower, it's not the same because you're getting new water hitting you mm-hmm. all the time. And so I, you can stand and just be in the same spot. Oh damn! How I didn't did know you that. say that the two because you said you smoke weed? Yeah, well. Oh yeah. I so think, uh, I smoke, you smoke weed Halloween? a lot. Yeah. So, like, I can tell. In the morning, your voice. <laughs> I'll be like, I'll feel like shit sometimes. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, you wake up, like you feel like shit. That's how I be feeling like some, it, it's majority of the time. But like, yeah. but when I go with, if I, on the times when I would go with uh-huh. them to like hit the sauna, I come out, I'm like, oh, okay. I actually feel way better. You but, know what? The, the side effect of weed that you are experiencing is called brain fog. So it's like, 
I don't know scientifically what it is, but the words brain fog is exactly how it feels. It well, feels yeah. like you woke up and shit is just cloudy. Like, yeah, like, yeah. like your, your synopsis are not firing the way they should be. So one of the biggest benefits of a cold shower is the clearing of brain fog, which is oh, why shit. in the morning it's so good because everyone has a natural brain fog they wake up with. Yeah. But weed smokers, especially because like when's the best time to smoke weed right before bed? Yeah. I also and used to go smoke to sleep weed. and then you're still you're probably still faded. In yeah. Your sleep and then you wake like- up even more tired. Weed actually it's funny about weed and sleep is that it feels like you are getting more sleep or better sleep because mm-hmm. you're like knocked the fuck out. But the quality of sleep is actually far less because you need more sleep to, to make up for the same level of tiredness. Yeah. And sometimes you wake up after eight hours and you're fucking tired as shit still because yeah. you went to sleep high. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that's that's the uh, cold showers will help that a lot. Okay, actually. okay. I'm gonna you, start waking you up with uh, the hose, right? Yeah, shit, pour water <laughs> on me right when I'm sleeping. <laughs> are you an early riser yourself? Hell no. No, <laughs> I, I'm trying my best to be because I know that there's like this like crazy benefit of being in the cycle with the sun, which is why these yeah. motherfuckers like multi like billionaires will wake up at 5 a.m. Yeah. yeah, you gotta wake up with the sun. I've tried that all. I've tried so hard, bro. But when you live the lifestyle that we all do, where you fucking go out and drink, yeah, one <laughs> night out. Fucks fucks it I'm up. going to sleep yeah. at 5 a.m. That fucked yeah. it up for the whole week. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, like, fucks, fucks yeah, it. yeah, they're good yeah. about that. But I'm, I'm are you I a late try, riser? Yeah, I, I try, bro. You, like, I used I to get up at get up for work at 6 a.m. But like, after I stopped working, like, it's, it's hard. It's trust hard. me, man. And and a lot you of people have, have it, a yeah. lot of people have naturally different circadian rhythms. Like being a bartender all my life, dude. Like, yeah, yeah, that, nice. that shit fucked me too. Yeah. But it's like, yeah, sometimes you got to just realize that the benefit is worth more than the pain. It's the discipline yeah. for it. Yeah, yeah exactly. you got to have discipline to fucking wake up and take that ice bath. Shit is tough, yeah. bro. Yeah. Yeah. Another, ice bath every morning yeah, is crazy. That's, that's, that's like, pretty crazy. Like, that's cold tough. shower even, I'd be pacing. I'm naked in my bathroom just like, <laughs> and you get said, in there. Get in there. And you said that is good for injury recovery, huh? The ice bath is very good for injury yeah, recovery, yeah. yeah. Fucked up my knee. That's like you're, you're icing your whole entire shit. Yeah. Just that yeah. It's good for your whole body. Your it's good for so. You it's just, good for your mental health. Your don't, gets super the only, small, yeah, that's the only bad small. part about it. You're I got like, out. I was. I look, I checked because I knew I could. I could barely feel that shit. I'm like, man, <laughs> a big ass <laughs> clit. Okay, okay. okay. I was okay. like, I can never be in front of a you're woman. Like, is that right a clit? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, big ass real, clip. Real question though. Have you pissed in the ice bath? Never, never. No. Hell, that's we- hell, that's, why would I that's do pretty that? That's nasty. Well, well, I've heard like s- swim divers that go in the ocean when the water but that's is like, the cold. Ocean. That's the ocean, bro. So this is my big. little bathtub. <laughs> She's gonna turn I'm just yellow. marinating in my piss. Like I mean, come on smelling know. like yeah. pee. I fucking heard because um, there's some guy at the gym. He's like 50 years old. I, oh. I think. I'm not sure. I'm just guessing his age. You see him every now and then or you see him every... I hey, see he him calls like, him 50 and the dude's like 31. Yeah. He's watching the podcast. <laughs> like, this, and he fuck this guy. Next time he sees him, I'm going to fuck you up, <laughs> God. He's this fucking jacked ass dude and he just got like the $6,000 uh, ice bath or whatever. Uh-huh. Wait, and he, is he the guy with the white hair? Uh, nah, he's the, the Asian guy with the cap that looks like fucking Superman. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And the buff ass dude. Yeah, he's yeah. fucking... He's ripped, ripped as shit. dude. Like mm. he's like six three. Fucking oh my gosh, just a behemoth it of a man. Yeah. It, it, it does. Yeah. Like, oh my gosh, I, I, I'm a little chub right now. But right. low key, like gym culture is hella gay sometimes. I be, <laughs> I, be, I, be, I, be, I be checking dudes out at the gym. I'm like, well, that is a fine specimen of man. Yeah, you, like, you appreciate. Yeah, it. your physique is on point. Now. Yeah, I'm like, bro, look at your deltoids. I'm getting <laughs> horny right now. Like, I know. Yeah, no, that yeah. is true. Because sometimes we'll be at the gym and he'll be like, damn, look at his fucking. <laughs> Hey, but I don't even catch myself. Yeah. So I'm like, that is no. I remember, no, I remember one time I went went with Logan, and there's a, there's a skinny rib dude, and he was like, "You see him right there, dude? You, I, you can yeah. you can get like that." I was like, "Shit, hey, Logan, yeah. I want to get like that." And I was like, "Honestly, as you start going more, you start like appreciating." Yeah, like, 100 because uh, you realize how hard it is yeah. to get there, and yeah. you pay for your shit every month, so I feel like that shit makes you want to go. Yeah. Also, also too, I'll be like, I'll be like, "Hey, Julian, you see that guy right there?" That guy, when he takes his shirt off, looks fucking good. <laughs> like, How the fuck do you know? Yeah, and I don't even think it's gay. I'm like, yeah, you're probably right. You yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. I know who you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, it, it's good, but it's just kind of like you appreciate the hard work. You start to remember the specific guy, yeah, too. Yeah. Like, yo, you like, remember that one guy? To look like I do that. know a guy like that, though. Yeah, so, you want to get to that body it's point, though, to where yeah. people it's remember respect. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%, yeah, man. But, but, anyways, what this guy said, he said that he, so he does it like three minutes in the morning now. And what he said, like the reason why he thinks why uh, taking an ice bath makes like your day so much easier yeah. is because imagine you wake up at fucking six in the morning and the first thing you have to do is the hardest thing you're going to do 
throughout your whole entire day. Yes. It makes everything else seem so much easier. Yes. That's so true. that that's he was like, dude, he's like, if He's like, I recommend you fucking do it. So fucking true, man. We need to do a video with you just fucking... Hey, I would love to get y'all in a video just Let's us do all doing an ice bath. Let's yeah, fucking do that shit. An ice koozie? Yeah. <laughs> or like... Or, or, I mean, I'm down... I'm tr I want to have people in the health videos too with me because like I'm going to start going to shit now. Yeah. The, like the plan was like low effort, like do everything I can do in my crib first. Yeah. And course. then it's like cryotherapy chambers. Oh, pull sensory deprivation here. tanks. I smoke a lot, so oh. pull over here. I need a, I need a fucking <laughs> doctor. Woo in this shit. Yeah, so I'll hit you guys up that? when I'm going. What is that? That's when you, like, you're not, yeah, like, explain it. all your, like, your senses. senses are supposed to be gone. So, like, I think you're floating in the water, right? Yeah, and so like a salt water. basically it's a, it's a chamber that um they dump like hella salt in it so you're basically floating on like extremely salty water and then because you're floating without putting any effort in they close you in this tank no you can't see a damn thing you can't hear a damn thing That's so scary. all your senses even touch have been like eliminated and when that happens and you're in it for long enough basically feels like you start tripping balls. i'll get claustrophobic you no 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 you you start to feel a different it starts to unlock a part because think about yeah, right like all your brains the way your brain receives information is through one of the five senses. And then once those are all, imagine all five senses gone. What is your brain doing now? How does your what brain you process? What, what is going, what's but going in? your eyes in? are open though. No. Well, you can't oh, you see. Can't you're, see. In a, you're in a, you're in a chamber, so pitch black. black. But your mind is there, so wouldn't you be like? That's the thing. That's the point. Is that what is your mind yeah, perceiving? Your mind so now my you... mind is like, oh shit, I'm fucking stuck. Though. <laughs> so, so exactly. How do I get out this? You bitch? have to unlock it. Yeah, but to that to might relax. be a way to defeat that. Yeah. yeah. Relax. I'll be like that. Yeah, is, uh, I would be like that yeah, too. I'll I'm probably not be like, lie. fuck. Yeah. Get me out this shit. I'll yeah. probably be like that. No, I mean, you willingly got into a chair. I think that like. It's different That's if you're part were, of the process. Yeah, you like yeah. kind of just jump into the you chamber. You know, your shit. Yeah. yeah, and you could just get out whenever you know that too. So oh, you could just oh okay. Yeah, but don't yeah. people? Usually I mean, like I think you could just push and hold it down. <laughs> imagine on it. Oh my gosh! Imagine thing? you're stuck. Oh, right, well, that would be scary. Yeah. But that, but that does not happen. I don't. Yeah, I think. Like so. fucking Final Destination yeah. when they're stuck in, in the, the tanning. Yeah, tanning <laughs> yeah, that's. Oh, what oh I nah, that sounds hella scary. Fuck that. What's the next health trend you're gonna do? Um, I've got a bunch of breathwork videos coming out. So I have one for clearing your nostrils when they're congested. Is it this? When you do that. No, no, no. <laughs> There's one that, yeah, like, because I can't even breathe that well. That's just because my nose is broken a little bit. You have a deviated septum? Yeah. Ah. Uh, so is there any way past that, that shit? shit? I don't know if breathwork will fix like a like a physic like a hardware issue like oh, okay. that. I would go hardware? get yeah, I would go get doctor. surgery. <laughs> you know, I'm shit, yeah, 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 fuck. <laughs> yeah. Could have just said that. <laughs> yeah, this like this like software, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Software. Yeah. This is like inside. Yeah. This is outside. Yeah, yeah, this is like physical problem. Like yeah. fix that shit. Yeah. <laughs> so but, I mean, I know a lot of people who have to get surgery over that. So. Yeah. So you got to do. Uh, you're gonna do breathwork, and then what else? So I've got a couple sure. breathwork videos coming out, and then uh, and I think I want to start like around now is when I'm confident in like oh I've got psyllium husk, so one of my favorite supplements ever, psyllium husk. You ever poop and like you have to wipe fifty times, and you're just sitting there hella mad like what the fuck? Yeah, yeah. it gives yeah. you automatic ghost wipes. Yeah, and, and yes, what? exactly. Oh that's gosh, just that's a superpower. That's a cheat. That's code. a superpower. That's a cheat code, that bro. Is. That's why I'm like super bonsai. But like, yeah, yeah. so, but the psyllium husk, super bonsai. It's, <laughs> the product name's clean ass. No, it's gonna be something. We're gonna make shit funny. Like we have one for like your dick. Where it's, we're gonna call it super hard. So. Oh. <laughs> Nice. I'll take oh, that. Super yeah, hard. that shit. I mean, there's shit you could take now that I'll tell you after this uh, psyllium husk. But <laughs> psyllium husk, dude. When I discovered this shit, it was like my life changed because poop. I enjoy pooping so much now because it's just clean every time. But you basically, it's um, it it's a little difficult to take because you have to drink a lot of water with it because it can expand in your throat and, oh, and you can choke. But right it's a prebiotic and a fiber bomb. So all it does is like make you poop, like make your poop so solid and nice and clean. And now I like max wipes three. Like if I wipe three times, I'm like, what the fuck? Before, how many? I'm like, it's not what I do? signed up for. How <laughs> many wipes did you use to? Huh? Every day. That's something you take every day. And I've taken it every day for multiple years now. How many wipes did you used to do? It depends, right? It's it like depends on your shit. diet, what's been going on. But do you'll have those shits where you sit there and you're like, what the fuck? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've been shitting forever. <laughs> shits where you pray, huh? Yeah. 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 After I've done like a couple spicy challenges, I've had oh, shits. Hell no. I've had shits where I've literally like prayed to God, like please, please <laughs> yeah, make yeah. this stop. Like God, like he I has, will. He, that's he that has. Whole, like, have I you guys done the, sometimes? That's how it was with the the Pocky one chip challenge. That's what I was gonna ask. Y'all did that? I did it. You did it alone. 
time. I did it, but I'm lactose intolerant. But I drank so much milk and ate so much ice cream that my shit was just flowing like water. water. Like you're peeing water. out your ass. Yeah. Yeah. I like a the, girl. The Buffalo yeah. Wild Wings challenge. Was that that spicy? The blazing. Uh, the Pocky one chip is probably like way worse, way right? spicier. He the, had a timer on. Yeah, his, the, the one thing is you're timed and it's fucking hot. It's That's it. But but it. the the uh, I was timed too though. Hey, I'm, let's go to Buffalo Wild Wings. I want to try that shit. You've never had yes, Buffalo Wild Wings? I've yeah, had Buffalo were, Wild Wings, but I want to try the challenge. Oh, really? I have a shirt. Yeah. Oh, for yeah. doing it? Yeah, yeah you <laughs> but, get a shirt. You get a but shirt. it's, it's kind of bullshit because one, you still got to pay for your meal. Oh, Two, that's bullshit. they say that they take a picture of you and they put you up on the wall, but they're like, ah, oh, we could take a picture of you, but we're not going to put it up on the wall. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. No, just give me that pic. Yeah, yeah, I did this for clout and you're not even going to give it to me? What the fuck? Yeah. There's a video on it too. Yeah, we did a video. Yeah. Oh, so. wait, but the the dick the dick pills. So um, there's shit. There's natural ways to boost testosterone and libido, and then it basically, it's like you've seen your dick at like the hardest, but you've never seen it at the hardest, like, <laughs> right. unless you've unless you've taken yeah, some right. supplement. Wow. Unless you're in love. And and, uh, and what I realized in college <laughs> is that a lot of motherfuckers because they're drinking so much would take shit like Cialis and Viagra, and I'm Damn. like, bro, you're 19. Yeah. That's fucking yeah. weird, and you're gonna fuck your dick up. So, and then I realized later from like researching, just like, I think I was like 21 and I was just getting into like supplements and shit. And I'm like that people take natural plants, like roots and herbs that fucking make, give them the same benefit, if not better, because it does other shit as Cialis or Viagra. And it's like Tonka Ali is probably the number one thing. And then Maka root, ashwagandha, ashwagandha also helps. But I used to take Maka root plus ashwagandha in a combo, but Tonka Ali is like, the fucking goat like that should boost your <laughs> testosterone naturally increases libido like hella shit bro i'm about to be on tonka ali yeah. <laughs> you about to look like muhammad ali don't you? <laughs> <laughs> you're about to be like this uh, just like I can move like speed yeah. <laughs> you're like, it's good for the gym too it's good for the gym <laughs> shit uh. I, so I you're gonna it. come out with this shit, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I mean, yeah. I, I in the meantime, the look, look up that shit, but yeah, huh? Yeah, I want to be on the PR. Yeah, oh, me yeah? too. Oh yeah, I will talk, man. There's like, definitely yeah, business we could do. Here. Yeah, you will actually. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> on your on your fucking page for the dick pills, just our fucking cocks <laughs> <'Cause for> before <laughs> and after pics <laughs> for super hard. <laughs> End up here <laughs> with the fucking remote right next to each one. <laughs> It's like, you with a ruler, now you got a ruler. It's like, look, without super hard, with super hard. <laughs> I got an extra centimeter. I guess. Before it was like, before, <laughs> before it would reach the fucking okay button. Now <laughs> it reaches the power button. <laughs> <laughs> this shit is okay. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Fuck. Uh, dude, that's fucking sick, though. Yeah. What is there like a reason? Be, um, Do you guys hear that ringing? Yeah, I do. Oh, uh, whatever. It's a light, but let's restart. Oh. If you're still gonna ask. What's the timer on these cameras? 30 minutes. 30 minutes? We've been talking for yeah, like, been shit. For two hours. Oh, it's been two hours? Yeah, Whoa. Don't feel, like don't feel like it at all. I know. That was like when we went on yours. Yeah. Shoot. That was, shit was like three hours. That shit was so fun. That shit was hella Why fun. Did so the first time? Uh, some fuck, boy. some stupid ass, like, <laughs> I forget why I got deleted the first time, actually. I think it was like, we tried to edit something out, like, you know, the YouTube, you can snip shit, yeah. and then it fucked up the audio, and we were like, fuck, uh, we have yeah, to delete the whole, th we gotta re-upload the whole thing, yeah. and then, yeah, I mean, it's still, that one is still sitting at, like, 100k plus, I think, so. Hey. That shit was fun though. Nah, that shit was, was fun. fun. We should bro. go on again. I, yeah. I We're down to have y'all whenever, honestly. I like that ringer on your guys' shit. That, yeah. that makes us go. Yeah, we we haven't been doing that much lately because we're like our livers, but um, but, but yeah. With the D H M. Yeah, I mean, with y'all coming on, I would do that. We want to do it with fun guests. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, with, with you guys. and plus, we also have to be sure that they can drink because some guests. We just yeah, it's like you don't want them to get too drunk either. It just ruins the whole interview. But yeah. Fucking um, is there a reason why your shit's called Super Bonsai? Like, why Bonsai? So, uh, originally Bonsai was the name we came up with because we were like, it's Zen, it's Asian. Where we were like, or the original angle was like, take Asian natural Asian ingredients mm -hmm. to like optimize the Western lifestyle. And I was like, that's the most basic shit I ever heard. <laughs> Fuck out of here. That was pretty original. I thought I loved it. It's great, but it is literally like if you look at like supplement brands, it's like who like that's what most people are doing honestly it's like you're yeah. gonna take shit from asia like natural ingredients from yeah. all over the world yeah, and right. then you're gonna put it into a pill form but i was like so we need something different and also i have like very like kind of ambitious plans for the content so i was like and then it was the whole superpower angle and then that's why we added super super bonsai because nice. bonsai still gives me the 
the the Zen Asian kind of like nuances of the word, and it's also very recognizable by anyone Western. Like it's not too Asian. Yeah. You know, what I mean, it's not like some Japanese phrase that just sounds hella Japanese, and you don't know what it means. Like everyone yeah. knows what a bonsai is. Yeah. But and then like super was for the our our power ups, our our video gamey angle. Yeah. That's cool nah. as fuck. I like that superpower shit. What about shit what about for bar chemistry? So like, do you? Do you plan on taking that like further or is it just kind of you're going to venture out into other businesses and kind of use bar You don't want to open your to... own bar? Uh, I would never open my own bar alone. I would like do it with partners where I could just be a silent partner. But to do that, I would have to meet an operator that was so fucking good. I'd be like, Peter? like I trust you to Peter could potentially be one. Yeah, actually. But I don't know. He's I've never I, I need somebody like a GM of a bar or club that can run. Like that they'll shit. do all the fucking like work. all the operations, you know, like the marketing shit. Like maybe I'd be involved a little bit. I would like to just be hands off. I've got too many businesses right now. So yeah. like you were saying, bar chemistry, bar chemistry makes me good money. Like I can't just give it up. Um, I also like doing the bartending videos. And it's like your baby. It is my baby, and that, but you that's don't the even thing. Do that shit at but home. man, fuck babies. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, fuck yeah, babies. Fuck no, I'm kidding. <laughs> What it is, is uh, I try not to be, I used to be emotional in business where I would let, I would make emotional decisions, like decisions that, cause I felt this way or like, you know, blah, blah, blah. But logically some of those, those are some of the worst decisions to make. Yeah. Yeah. Off of emotions. So, yeah. yeah. So yeah. if I know that I'm at this new place in life, I have this new opportunity. I have these new core human values that my old business is not expressing anymore. Then it's like, you know what I mean? Like, it's like almost time to level up and move on. But and then and then there's that that aspect of like oh but like it's my baby like I can't that's emotional you know then mm -hmm. and that would prohibit me from becoming who I'm supposed to be so uh so yeah I'm 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 still making the videos I'm still like doing like it's still going but it's not I have two partners now that have kind of jumped on and they're helping me to continue grow it while I'm very hands off and I just do the videos Sick. so yeah. That was very lucky on my part, meeting them. Or I guess it's not luck. It's like putting myself in the right Definitely. places all the time. But. And you worked for it. Yeah. Nice. Thank you. Yeah. I love you, you Danny. I love you too, bro. Well, Shay, is there anything else you guys want to ask before we end this pod? Yeah, this is this has been a long one. It's yeah, been a been good long. one. Yeah, yeah, this has been a Fucking great one. one. Let's one of my go favorite get the podcasts. sun after this. I'm down. The ice we got to all be naked, though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, right like after the ice cheese. bath with back like fucking back. clit penises. Wait, you don't do that at the gym. Get naked in front of everybody. Uh, I've I've gone naked. I've in front of seen, but I don't do it like all the that. time. No, like <laughs> the high end gyms, they don't. Motherfuckers are naked. Oh, because that's because like, it's like the high old people. End, you, you sign shit. Yeah, for they that. just you walk can't. out, dick out, and everything. I seen a guy like he was standing there. It was at some fucking expensive one, and he was just standing there watching the Laker game, and he was just and just naked. LeBron dunks. He gets a boner. That's crazy. It's like. Nah, I've seen ones. like the old Asian guys at the gym, like oh dude, God, leg yeah. up, leg up on a fucking bench, like blow drying oh, his balls. Yeah. Yes, oh I, yes. What? And I was like, why, why, why would you do that? In bro, public? they'll spread their ass cheeks to get. I'm like, that's smart, but gross. Yeah, I'm like, come on, bro, you're in public. Go do that. At Let home. me join you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how, which way did you lift that? Like, <laughs> so, so stinking like ass. Oh my God, man. But it yeah. shows you how to do it. Puts your leg up for you. <laughs> they're always flexible as fuck too. Yeah, they <laughs> It'll be like eighty, and they're fucking their legs touching their yes. fucking head. <laughs> yep. But yeah. yeah. Anyways, thank you for coming on, dude. Yeah. For I mean, thank you guys for having me, course, giving me the yeah. opportunity to shout out Super Bonsai yeah. and everything. No, so thank Shit. you. I'm, I'm super. super excited, yeah. Dude. I'm super no, excited I, I love, too. Yeah, I love seeing like like businesses like like that and like nectar like you guys are going crazy yeah i think that's a fucking smart ass idea too. thank you man yeah. i mean you will you will see it once it's once it's dropped i'm gonna have it in all your hands so yeah, yeah keep that, that shit, shit in my pocket fly yeah. dude yeah you sold me on the fucking condom for the liver shit yeah yeah, yeah that that's that's I, what got me i right just there. thought about that today too because I, I i think i said it yeah we, we've just been talking about yeah, it. yeah we all been Frank saying it like or, yeah we, logan today i was like dude yeah. i need to stop probably drinking because i actually just don't want to fuck up my liver yeah. yeah i mean you should regardless of if you take it or not <laughs> slow down on drinking but re if you're realistic you're never going to stop drinking fully yeah. yeah how bad is it for your liver like actually drinking alcohol yeah. very very bad for your liver very bad very bad and it, when you look at like the recommended amounts of drinks it's like seven drinks a week i drink that in one night what do you yeah. what do you mean like yeah. you know like that type of shit where it's like and so like I don't know, but I also know people that like drink and smoke every day and then die at ninety. So like you know, I don't yeah. know. Yeah, oh, okay. Those are always right. like. I was crazy about to say cases. I don't want to die at ninety, but fuck, here we go. Yeah, let's mm -hmm. go to ninety. 
Yeah. You want to die first? You want to die sooner? No, no, no. I thought you were gonna say fucking you die like earlier. Or yeah. Fuck. No, no. I, I've seen people lit like that. Just do not give a fuck about their bodies. Live Look a at long Snoop time. Dog. He smokes weed every day. Well, he's yeah. not even old. <laughs> he's not that old yet. Well, War- Warren Buffett is like he's one like of the fucking forty nine. Yeah. He eats McDonald's, right? He eats uh, make, like two sausage ring muffins every day, and he drinks I think like four cans of Coke. Bro, Trump drinks like Diet Coke like every day, I think. And then they did like a physical on him, and he's like, and they were like, he's like in the top percentile of health for people his age range. And I'm like, Diet, what the fuck? Like, it's because he doesn't have DNA. He has USA <laughs> or some shit. <laughs> yeah, he's got a USA. He built different, bro. <laughs> that shit That's was crazy. One, that right? was crazy. Yeah, no, he. Said that. Bar, he said yeah, that. He, he said word that for word said that yeah. in like a press conference. Yeah. That's so nice. <laughs> it was. I think it was when um like uh, they <laughs> said that he got COVID. If he's gonna be okay, he goes like, I don't got DNA. I got USA. I'm gonna be that fine. That is <laughs> fucking funny. Dude. Like, bro, I was like, damn, that's just hard as fuck. That's I'm like, yeah, that was funny as hell. No, but but Warren Buffett, the the reason why he um has like such like a shit diet uh-huh. is because supposedly he looked up um what age has the lowest uh death what is it rate. more yeah death rate and it was like six to like nine years old and he looked up like what they like fucking eat and drink the most and it was like mcdonald's and coke oh my see, I god i don't even know if he fucking eats the mcdonald's that has to be fake no, he that, does. that he has does. to be a there's lie. a fucking documentary no no he definitely warren buffett is known that he eats like shit but yeah. i don't for that to be the reason that's what he says no he that's, does say he, that reason I'm like, really that he has to be trolling bro because like what the fuck he has fucking high stakes in both oh he does probably <laughs> <laughs> what probably. a motherfucker! <laughs> yeah, he he got everybody. <laughs> yeah, low key, he got everybody. You just, you just opened my line just now. What the yeah. We released this episode. The stocks for those two fall. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I only drink nectar. Like that's what makes my skin look good, and uh, that's the only thing I survive on. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Well, anyways, thank you so much for coming on, dude. Thank you guys uh, for having me. Everybody, follow him. Yeah. Go yes. get his products. End of June, right? End of June. Text the number. Uh, I mean, we'll, if you yeah, guys we'll, have we'll it, we'll put it on screen and we'll put it in the description. Beautiful. So text that shit. Are you gonna go to VidCon? Uh, is that soon? Yeah, it's June, June. It's middle like twenty fourth. Did you guys get invited already? Yeah. yeah. Then I'm not going because if they, I would have gone if they invited me to ask, we'll but just like pull up. I would go to like hang out with y'all if you're gonna do something after. Oh, I don't are. need to go to we actual are. VidCon. We are yeah. most definitely. Yeah. There's always something happening after. Yeah. yeah. After. But yeah, pull up business shit. Um, everybody follow Mr. Wu Talk right here. Yes, yes. appreciate y'all. Thank you guys so much. Thank you guys for Thank watching. Peace. Love you guys.